The Chan is underway at Arrowhead. We've got Tracy Wolfson, Evan Washburn, Jay Feely, Gene Steratore with us. And before kick, let's go down to Tracy. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. Arctic blast, death rays of icicles. That was the talk coming into this week. Now, it's not that type of weather, but it is cold, freezing, about five degrees real temp. The wind is starting to pick up. Tom Brady, he's played in everything, but he told us in the cold, his mind doesn't slow down, but their bodies do. Andy Reid, he said, it's all about mental toughness in this type of weather. One other note, they were forced to resod this field on Wednesday because of all the snow. Keep an eye on it. We'll see if it has any impact on this game, Jim. All right, Tracy, thank you. Clark Hunt, the owner, leading the way. The Chiefs elected to defer. So, Butker. Kicks it down toward Cordero Patterson, who will run it out three yards deep. Patterson brought down by Dieter at the 20. Well, Tom Brady, for the 13th time in an AFC title game, two and three in AFC championship games on the road. In fact, losing the last three that he played on the road, all of them to Peyton Manning. And they'll start from the 20 with two tight ends. And a running play, and it's wide open up the middle for Michelle, who comes off a big game last week. And he's got 11 before he's brought down by Eric Berry, who is up tonight. Just a simple dive play. They come right out, and you'll see right here, this is how the Patriots have morphed since Josh Gordon went down. Today, Jim, I really believe you're going to see them run the football. They aren't going to throw as many short passes as, they're, as you're used to seeing. They're going to attack down the field. They have got to get off to an early start and get the lead on Kansas City and take this crowd out of the game. Again, two tight ends. Michelle coming off 129 and three touchdowns. It's a second handle, and not this time, into the gut of that defense. Let's talk a little strategy here for the New England offense. You just, you talked about an emphasis on the run, trying to do something early so they can play the game they want to play. I, I don't think you saw with Indianapolis, when the Colts came in here, this crowd, they, they helped them. They shut the run down early, and you got in these third and medium, third and long, and all of a sudden the game got away from you. Kansas City is like the Warriors. They can score two touchdowns in two minutes and blow the game out. You need to play from the lead, and New England knows it. Second and nine in play action, and the pass is complete to Gronkowski with Sorensen on the coverage. It goes for 13. And this is exactly what you have to do early in the game. I think the Pats need to be aggressive and run the ball later as the game starts to unfold. To me, Tom Brady, you know him. He's been here a million times. You trust him in this environment. Be aggressive on first and second down. Push the ball downfield and then get into running the football. It's going to be hard on third down to move the chains consistently against Kansas City's pass rush. On first down again, met quickly this time by Reggie Raglan for no gain. And this Chiefs defense of Bob Sutton, 31st in total defense in the league, but tied with Pittsburgh during the regular season with 52 sacks, most in the league. They've had in all nine home games, the regular season and last week against the Colts, at least two sacks in every home game. Which is why New England understands if you're playing from behind and you let that offense come out and score points, you're allowing them to tee off with their strength, which is the pass rush. Burkhead in the game on second and ten. Back to Gronkowski, who has already now more catches than he had against the Chargers last week. He had one last week for 25. He's got a couple already on this opening drive. And he'll set up a third and four from the Chiefs 49. Historically, this is where the Chiefs have made it difficult on Tom Brady. They pack the middle of the field and they make him throw outside. You're going to see a lot of people on the inside part of the field and they don't want to throw little crossers or let them throw it there. They try to run for it. And putting his head down and James White making the effort to pick up the first. Picked up five. 
And he went charging after the defender to get what he needed. I want you to watch Gronkowski. They're using him here. They see the end. And Gronk goes down and makes a key block. And they've been doing this now, and it's been really fascinating to watch him morph from this dominant passer. He's always been a really good blocker, but they are running right at him on key downs. And it's been difficult on defense as we're trying to stop him in the pass game. First down run. Again, up the middle, down to the 40 is Michelle. In the last three matchups, I mean, they've had some wild games here in recent years, including the 43-40 New England win week six. But the Patriots have run the football against the Chiefs, averaging 186 yards a game rushing in these last three matchups and six rush touchdowns. And they're coming right out and establishing that now. This is exactly how they want to start. You see all the big personnel. You see the fullback in the game. Burkhead comes out of the backfield. Devlin remains in on second and six. Burkhead with the catch. And Hitchens will drive him back. It'll be about third and one. Well, just a motion out by the back. And a simple hitch route. But Brady from under center taking a quick five-step drop. No one's going to remember that play, but that's what he used to do when he was young. Get under center. We're going to run the ball. We're going to run, oh, just five yards, eight yards here. Need a yard for the first, third down. Well, Brady's killing the play. When you see him do that, it means, okay, we can't run it to this way, so we got to do a different play here. Goes with the other option. It's White. And once again, White on a third down carry picks up the first. That's four times now they've moved the chains on the opening drive. And so Brady gets up to the line of scrimmage. And right at the first part, it's okay. We have a play up. Brady says, kill, kill, kill. Running back, move over here. I'm going to hand the ball off. And you're going to run to the right instead of running to the left. It's all game planned in beforehand. Brady executes it perfectly. Everyone knows their job. Another kill. First down run again. Burkhead tries to slide off the line. Takes it near the 30. Give him three. Right under the arms of Anthony Hitchens, who's their top tackler. Brady so far has thrown it three times, all completions, but they've run it seven times. Well, and you're going to see him get to the line of scrimmage and have two plays. You're not going to see near as much motion or stacks and bunches as they normally do. There'll be one guy moving a little bit, but Brady wants everyone to know their job so the crowd's not affected as much. He faked the throw to Patterson and to try to get it over to White. And the Chiefs were on it, bringing out the incompletion. It's a screen pass, it's a fake, and then Brady, see the eyes by White? Brady was going to throw it, but he didn't think White had eyes on the ball, so he had to throw it in the dirt. And Justin Hamilton was moving in on him. So third and seven. Gronk is one-on-one -on, -one on top of the screen. People haven't been doubling him as much lately. Let's see if they do. Down the middle of the field, it's Edelman with the catch for another first. James White picked up a blitzer. And just Brady with just excellent timing, and Edelman gets right into that seam. And you can see the wind, see the ball tailing a little bit. The direction that Brady's going, throwing the ball to his left is difficult. But Brady throws such a tight spiral, it cuts right through this wind and makes it look normal like it wasn't that difficult. I mean, this is a textbook first drive, Jim. Uh, keep this offense off the field. And for the fifth straight time on first down, they run it. It's Michelle. And that's going to be good enough for yet another first down. It'll be first and goal to go. And just last week, they took the opening drive and went over seven minutes, producing a touchdown. This is already a longer drive than that opener last week. Yep, and you see Sonny Michelle, they got the fullback in this game, and that's what's happening on these first drives. Teams don't use the fullback more than once or twice in games or short yardage, and now you're having to defend it in a brand new game, and they've had a ton of success over the last three, four weeks with it. First and goal. Michelle fighting for it down to the one. 
Simple zone play to the right. Shell up field and... And by the time they snap it on this next play, they'll be already eight minutes into the game. Just moving down the field. This will be the 15th play of the drive coming up. But uh, Xavier Williams is shaken up, so we'll step aside for a moment. Last week's opening drive against the Chargers was by time the longest opening drive in a playoff game in Tom Brady's career. It's already been exceeded. 7.55 into it. Second and goal at the one. Williams was able to walk to the Chiefs' sideline. Michelle is the tailback. And he'll give it to him. Michelle powers in for the touchdown. Right behind James Devlin. And this has got to be concerning, but watch Devlin go right inside. Just power football and make the block right in the hole. And Gronk once again taking on over and over again outside linebackers, defensive ends, speaks. He was on right there, but just each week you see him dominating at his position in the run game. And they these coaches see it for the Patriots, and they have been relying on it. Extra point good. Sony Michelle, the rookie out of Georgia, just uh, into his fifth quarter of playoff action. He's got four touchdowns already back after 30 seconds from Progressive Insurance. The Chiefs this year were the most dominant first quarter team in the league. They plus 94 points. And last week, 14 nothing first quarter against the Colts. But they decided to defer and put the ball in Brady's hands to start the game. And the Patriots drive right down the field. 80 yards, 15 plays. Well, and that was, I think what happens is you know this crowd's going to be, you know, insane to start this game. And they were. And right there, look at that. Outscored opponents 49 to 0 in the last four homies. I mean, they've been outstanding in the first quarter. And I think they felt like they could get a stop. And it was going to be just a little bit, you know, nerve wracking. But, you know, the Patriots, they've been here a few times. This guy, Tom Brady, he's been in this game eight straight years, and they came out, and they knew they had to get the lead early. I've never seen them in our meetings with them. You know, McDaniels, Tom, never has it been more important to get off to a good start, they thought, on the first drive of the game and get the lead if they have an opportunity. Exactly as they game-planned it. Tremont Smith is now going to return it. And he takes a big hit. Back at the 16 by Crossan. And let's bring out Patrick Mahomes. Just 23 years young, 50 touchdowns in the regular season. In that game back week six at Gillette, they were down 15 at halftime. In the second half, he threw for nearly 200 yards and four touchdowns. He's the only player ever to have a four touchdown half against Bill Belichick, ever. He got off to a little rough start in that game, but then he showed you just how explosive they are they they're not out of any game down 14 points at any point here's the handoff and a cut up the field by Williams and he's got five so what's the game plan here you're you mentioned in the open about Belichick will have something now seeing Mahomes in this offense for a second time this season well Belichick knows he's going against the best offense you know, in the AFC, and he knows he's had to come up with something different. It's a matchup game. It's an adjustment game. And I think he's treating this a little bit like the Rams Super Bowl. I think he's going to see all these guys press, press, press. Let's be physical, and we're going to go ahead. Like that right there was physical. Oh, Landon Roberts busting across and getting a tackle for a loss. You're going to see them get up and really affect these guys. If you're fast, if you're explosive, He's going to try and take that away at the line of scrimmage and hit you and beat you up at the line of scrimmage and make you play a physical brand of football. I promise you, in this game, he's going to come after you and blitz you up the middle, and he's going to get up and press these receivers and make them win early in the down. Third and seven. Spencer Ware has been out since week 14 with a hamstring injury. He's the third down back, and he's in for this one. Picks up the blitzer. Mahomes' first throw is... Going to draw a flag. Flag at the 38.
Well, and this is the two physicalness at the snap of the ball, I feel Fire like. Pass. Holding. Holding defense, number 31. The five yard penalty, automatic first down. Leap Lakeman. And as you saw, he was the referee in last year's AFC Championship game. Well, and Hill lines up inside at the tight end position, but you can see the hold right here. Hill's trying to get off, and that's... I think the Pats are going to be willing to give up a penalty here and there to not give up the big play, and they're going to have to try and beat him up at the line of scrimmage because they cannot cover all these guys. The matchups are not great everywhere, even though they're playing good in the secondary. They fake it to Williams. Mahomes going to go for the deep ball, and it's over the head of everyone. Sammy Watkins was the receiver who was well covered. As you look at the Patriots defensive lineup, who are you looking for to be a key factor for that New England defense in this game? You're exactly right. This, this front needs to create pressure. I think when they look at the alignments and different things, they have a chance to know. Like right here, you know there's no run. Look at the physicalness of Gilmore on that. You see them beating him up at the line. Second and 10 throw, and wide of the mark. Gilmore was airtight coverage again on Watkins. Well, they're just being physical at the line of scrimmage. They're going to get up and make you throw the ball over the top and be physical in this game. And these receivers need to understand that. So the last two passes have been thrown to Watkins. Well, you know, this high-flying team, they haven't quite seen. This, is, this Belichick has gone against a few great offenses over the years, Jim. Third and ten. And they've got him back inside the 10. Kyle Van Noy with a sack for a big loss. And this is the pressure up the middle. And if you beat him up at the line of scrimmage, you know you got time with a double on Hill. And across the field, you're going to have to get the ball out. And you see Van Noy with a stunt up the middle. They're going to pressure Mahomes up the middle. This is what they did to Manning. This is what they did in all the great offenses. You're going to pressure him up the middle. You're going to make that quarterback have to move out and make plays. We're not going to let these guys run around and use their speed. They did not have a sack against Mahomes in the first matchup this year. They get one here in the first quarter for a loss of 14. Colquitt's punt. Caught by Edelman at the 45, and he's got a 12-yard run back back to the Chiefs' side of the field. So Brady coming back out. He drove him the distance the first time they had it, up 7-0. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by the Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar. Ice cold Dr. Pepper, the official drink of Fansville. And by Progressive Insurance, handing off big savings to you. Images from that week six matchup that ended as time expired with a Steven Guskowski winning field goal from 28 yards out. Making noise is not an issue here. <laughs> it's loud in here. Does not even have to be encouraged. They're ready for their first AFC title game. Brady's pass wide of Edelman. And let's check in with Evan Washburn. Yeah, and Jim, Tom Brady managed that noise in the first drive. And he acknowledged to us last night that they've designed a play sheet that, as he put it, is noise friendly. And he said, we don't have the luxury to go to the line and check. And Tony touched on that. And he said there's confidence, too, that Kansas City defensively doesn't present a defense that they need to make a lot of checks. They feel like they can come out of this huddle and have the correct play call most of the time, meaning not that much work to do at the line, guys. Well, this time he's going to utilize two tight ends. That's Dwayne Allen in motion. Second and ten. Going to swing it out of the backfield to Burkett. Tries to make a move to get Hitchens away from him. And he shoved out with a third down on the way. Yeah, and to Evan's point, it's Josh McDaniels right there knows going into this game that you're going to get one high safety, meaning one guy's going to be in the middle of the field back there. And when you know that, it's really just a matter of man or zone. And he also knows this team plays us man every time we play them. There's not a whole lot. It's just about winning your matchup. New England needs to run the ball, 
and then guys have to win their one-on-one -on -one matchups. Already three for three on third down. They face another one, third and four. They'll try to run it again for the first, but White, and he once again converts. He's done it three times already in this opening quarter on a third down carry. Well, I think this is another play. You see the linebacker right here. As soon as he walks up in there and you see Hitchens, I think Brady's going right to this play because that guy is the guy who's supposed to flow over and make the tackle. So when Brady sees that, he's calling that in the huddle, and he's like, okay, you moved up there, or he kills it and runs that play. That's how smart this coaching staff is. They give us this look, this is what we do. It's systematic, regardless of down and distance, Jim. Already with eight first downs and four conversions on third. Here's a first down run by Burkett, and he's walloped by a couple of Chiefs after a short gain. If you want a cure for the winter cold, how about a night in Hawaii? New Magnum PI special night kicks off right after this AFC Championship game. Only CBS, America's number one network. Philip Dorsett comes in. Cordero Patterson as well for the Patriot offense. Williams, who was shaken up on that first drive. Back on the sideline, second and nine. It's Patterson taking off. And he moves it inside the 20. Gronkowski throwing another key block here, Tom. Well, once again, they're constantly going back to him and showing. But Gronk, you just see, they're going to run behind him. He takes two here. In this motion, you get an empty and it looks like it's no run possibility. Patriots motion, and it's a run. It goes actually as a 15-yard pass play to Patterson. Now from the 18, up the middle, as they continue to run it on first down. It is amazing how the Patriots, it's like they, the Kansas City's weakness obviously is the run defense, but they were pretty good at the beginning of the game last game, last week. But they are going to know your weakness, and they are going to test it over and over again. And they are prepared to come out and throw if that wasn't working on the first three or four. But now that they know you're having problems, they're not changing. They're going to keep attacking you with this until you do something to adjust. You're going to have to bring big people in and condense your front on defense. Second and six. On the ground again. Near the 10 with Michelle. Already with nine carries for 40 yards. Minute to go in the first, third and two, and this is where James White has been so productive so far in this game. Well, this is where Kansas City, it's hard because New England has five plays that are great from third and two, third and three. You got to stop the run. Don't let them just hand it off to the right. I mean, it's, it's open there if he wanted to right now. Going to go up top for it. Throws wide, opens Edelman. First down at the five. Had all kinds of separation. Ward able to tackle him down, but first and goal to go for New England. Edelman's coming up. All Brady's looking at is the defender in motion. If he's inside leverage, he snaps the ball and he goes, well, that's pretty easy. A little quick out. The motion, though, gets that leverage, and this is the Patriots at their best. They are outsmarting the opponents right now, and it's a clinic. Well, the road team won the first game today. The Rams over the Saints in overtime. The road team here off to a big start. We're through one in Kansas City. Welcome back to the AFC Championship presented by Intuit TurboTax Live. And the Chiefs had only the one possession, minus 11 total yards. And here are the Patriots, first and goal at the five. They open the second with Michelle, again getting it down to the one. Another physical play by New England, just running right at them. Man on man and just really just exposing the one thing people thought Kansas City you know, had trouble with throughout the year. The problem is their offense scores so much, they're always playing with the lead. It's hard to run the ball on them when you're always trailing. Right. 
But Kansas City about to be in a big hole early. And if New England can find this one yard, second and goal. And it's Michelle. He stacked up. Didn't get there. Didn't get close. No game. Outside zone play, lead blocker, and then from the backside, just a really good job by Hamilton coming down the line. Kansas City needs a big stop right here. This crowd will erupt and get back in this game right away. Third and goal. Everyone in tight. Brady still has it up top because he's intercepted. Intercepted by Reggie Raglan. And he's going to take a knee in the end zone for the touchback after the pick. Brady had gone 237 consecutive postseason attempts without an interception. What a time for the Chiefs defense to make a play. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by The Lego Movie 2, the second part in theaters February 8th. And by AT&T, more for your thing, that's our thing. First interception in the last 78 postseason red zone attempts. Red zone. As Raglan, they're trying to find Gronkowski in the back of the end zone, but Hitchens had him pretty tightly covered, too. He, he didn't see Raglan. It's an all-or-nothing play. It's just a play action. You throw it up to Gronk, but Raglan never bit. And Mahomes able to get an incompletion out of it as he was being chased for another big sack that he avoided. Let's go down to the sideline. Back to Tracy. Chiefs defensive end Chris Jones, he knew it. Before the play, he was on the sidelines. He tipped his defense off to watch for that play, the throw over the middle, and then Reggie Ragland gets a dungeon. Well, now the hard part is for a quarterback, you do that hard sell in a goal line formation, and you can't see those linebackers if they've backed out. So Tom's throwing it, almost assuming they came. They finally get it to Kelsey. Kelsey somersaults it for a game of about nine. And this, this to me, is the game within the game, Jim. Is there anything? Kelsey's going to come across the screen right here from all the way from the left. And Mahomes does a great job getting Hightower up in the air. Speaking of up in the air. And there he is up in the air. But this, this is important drive right now. They need to get a first down. They need to keep this ball and possess it a little bit. Let their defense get a break. Third and one. You got to pick up the yard. And the Patriots were on him, and they're going to keep him short. Ooh. That was Damian Williams. Would you think about going for it here on your own 29-plus? Uh, you really can't. I mean, it's that so early. I mean, bring it out, Cole quit. I mean, Andy Reid's done some... Aggressive stuff for sure before, but this one's just you got to punt the ball and trust your defense to get a stop. I mean, they just got an interception, a big one, obviously. Got the crowd back into it. You've seen a lot of what New England's coming in here to do. You have the ability to adjust now. Like we said at the start, this is a matchup and adjustment game on both sides. Here's Colquitt. Last tackle was made by Malcolm Brown to prevent him picking up the first. Edelman with a little wiggle. And then Murray there to shove him out. <laughs> 19 degrees a kickoff, but the weather's not a factor, you believe? You're as cold as ice. You're After a 59-yard punt, Patriots back at their own 26. Michelle, it's a little jump cut, picks up about three. One thing coming into this, Tony, all the experience on the side of the Patriots, 36 members of the team have played in an AFC championship game, at least one, but you add them all up, it's 123 total games. Not a single Chief has ever played in a championship game. Well, and you're seeing a little bit of those experiences, your nerves are a little common, right? You know, one of the things for Patrick Mahomes was just, you know, the joke was the old Brett Favre, hey, you done throwing those rocket balls now? Can you calm down? 
And you saw Mahomes with an early one, but he'll be fine as this game moves on. Oh! Almost intercepted on second and seven. And that was a diving attempt by Eric Berry. Pass intended for Gronkowski. Across the field, Grot goes. And the ball just barely, Tom has to throw over a hand in front of him. And it's out in front, and Barry making his first game back. He only played in two games this year, of course. Rip ruptured his Achilles in week one at New England 2017 when the Chiefs won at Gillette. Well, you see, he's on Gronk now. Down here at the bottom, he's going to be right there on him most of the game in these third down situations. That's key for the Chiefs. They got seven members of the secondary on the field. Third and seven. Trying to get pressure on Brady, and they get near him, and somehow it is completed. Great turnaround catch by James White with Eric Murray right there with him. Well, Murray's there. Brady finds a soft spot in the pocket and he throws a touch pass to White behind him. That definitely wasn't the route and play, and it looks like it is a catch. Yeah, probably had control of it. No challenge flag coming out from this. Chief sideline. That's the fourth third down conversion. You can credit to White already. First and ten. Gronkowski. And he bulls ahead for nine. Well, this is earlier now. You saw the running back motion out. When he did that, he came out and threw. Now, the corner pops out. He knows it's zone. So Brady says, zone underneath. Throw it to the guy on a little crossing route inside he knew before the snap based on the motion where he was going with that ball earlier he threw the hitch to the running back because he had a linebacker on him third catch for Gronkowski second and one Michelle he's gonna have enough for the first <laughs> Boy, is Michelle coming on in the postseason, late in the season. Had knee issues back in camp. Had his best game of his rookie year just last week against the Chargers with 129 yards and the three touchdowns. Maroon 5 takes center stage at the Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show featuring Travis Scott and Big Boy. Tune in February 3rd on CBS. So another new set of downs for New England. Well, Kansas City had been playing better because they hadn't missed a lot of tackles, and today... Ball oh. dropped in traffic. That was White. Could not get a handle. Made the tough catch to keep this possession going for the Patriots. Unable to handle that one. And that's two screens now that the Patriots are so used to just, it's almost like a run for them that are incomplete. And that puts them a little behind the chains. And now, if you're Kansas City, this is what you need them in. This is why stopping that run is so important. They've been playing so well because no missed tackles, no defensive penalties really in the last few weeks. Today, they're not putting anyone in second and 10 or third and 10. Fake to Patterson, go up the middle. Michelle has a huge lane. And it shuts down after about eight, maybe nine. Raglan and Ward double team him, but it's, yeah, it's gonna be third and one. Well, look at this. As soon as it's second and 10, these guys are like, pass, pass, and the Patriots one step ahead. Run. They're gonna run it right at you because you thought it was pass. Michelle. They got to him. No gain. And now it'll be fourth and one for New England. Yeah, I think. New England will go for this, but this is what Kansas City adjusted. Look at how big these guys are and how tight they are to the line of scrimmage. You put them tight in there, you blitz the outside linebackers, and there's not a lot of gaps there for an offense to run in. New England will have to adjust if that goes, but this usually they step up and hand this ball off real quick. Uh, they're going to do the old shift change. They're going to punt it after all, bringing out Ryan Allen. Watch out for the fake. This is a chance to get people offside, 12 guys, a possible fake. Too many men on the field, maybe? Well, they can't. You see, when you run off the field, the yep. ref has to hold yep. for a certain amount of time for substitutions. Allen. And a flag is thrown. Delay a game. Delay a game. Offense. By George Finley. Good look at Well, 
Well, they're still... <laughs> you know what's funny? If they would have gotten it snapped, there was still 12 guys on the field. For the Chiefs? Yes. So Allen, in that game back in October, did not punt a single time. Boy, Kansas City got a break. There was 12. One guy ran off the field, but he was 13th guy, Jim. The 12th guy was still on that field for Kansas City. Wow. On that last one. Short wobbler caught at the 15 by Tyreek Hill. 32-yard punt, mid-second, 7-0 Patriots. Aerial coverage of tonight's game is provided by State Farm. The Chiefs have run only eight plays in this game, and we're halfway through the second quarter. And they're minus two total yards, time of possession. I mean, overwhelming, but it's just a 7-0 game. Mahomes and company have not even reached their own 30-yard line. Well, the last coach you want to go against is Bill Belichick in a championship game or something where he has played you once earlier in the year. That's Damian Williams. And he went through traffic, tiptoed for about five. And here's why, Jim, because Belichick, he starts in the middle. See the safety? So the quarterback thinks it's single high, and he's doubling Tyreek Hill on the outside, and they're really physical with everybody else at the line of scrimmage. And you see right here, another double on Hill. Everyone else one-on-one, -on -one, but they're really physical off the line, and they're going to pressure him up the middle. This is going to be tough. You're going to have to adjust. Belichick has gone against some incredible offenses, just like this Kansas City team. Here's a second and four and in heavy traffic. That's a little shovel pass. Kelsey for a couple. It'll be third and two. You mentioned Hill in that package. He has not been targeted so far in this game. It's going to be real difficult for him to be targeted because that's the number one thing New England's going to take away in this game. They are not going to let him win this football game for Kansas City. Other people are going to have to do that. Chiefs' only first down of the game so far was via a penalty. They got third and two. Mahomes on the run. Able to slip out of it and complete the pass for the first down to Watkins. Almost had him. Well, this is why Mahomes can overcome the pressure up the middle. He's got to get outside the pocket. Van Noy has him and just lets him go. And if you want to overcome a Belichick scheme, you know what you've got to have? Great individual talent, a guy who can make a play, something outside the box. And they have that guy. This quarterback has that ability. He's going to have to do that a bunch tonight, in my opinion. Hey, my 53 Larry. My 53 Larry. Don't tell him. Come on, right. Here's the first down play action. And a deep drop and a deep throw. Hill is there. Down at the New England 23. McCourty and Crossan were in coverage. And, and they're double teaming right here. Watch Tyreek Hill. He's got two people on him. Crossan's underneath the safety. McCourty's on top. And this is an outstanding play designed by Andy Reid. What a throw. What a route. Mahomes. Look at that torque. Oh, my goodness. That was outstanding on so many levels. Picks up 42. Crossing on the coverage, you mostly see him on special teams. He got beat on that play. Now going up top again on first down. Jump pass. He was wide open. Damian Williams. Oh, it's just a pick play. And Williams has the opportunity on a just a wheel route. Van Noy gets bumped. Kelsey thinks it's going to go for a touchdown. It Before is. Even a, turn around and look. It is a touchdown. They planned that one up. They used the Patriots play against them. And Mahomes just with the little, just got to be a little calm, just a soft touch throw for an easy walk in there. You see how explosive these guys are, though? That's why they're never out of a game. They can come back, they can score in seconds. Second and 10. He'll go to Williams on the ground. 
And he's met right away. No gain. Lawrence Guy, one of those on him fast. Tune in next Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. So you saw in the double team earlier, Jim, on that long pass to Hill, what they did, Andy Reid, he designed a play where Hill went all the way up and ran to the middle of the double team of the free safety and then back all the way to the sideline. So both guys were inside. It was just a perfect form. You see, he's going to double Hill at the top on a lot of these plays. It was third and nine with pressure. Again, they're going after him. Could take him out of field goal range. All the way back at the 37, Trey Flowers. You see the internal pressure staple over and over again. Trey Flowers comes from the outside, but it's really the pressure inside that makes Mahomes have to flush the pocket. And he did take him out of field goal range. They're bringing Colquitt out. A loss of 14. They've sacked him twice and both times were for monster losses of 14 yards that's a huge just mental error but you know he's young it just hasn't been in this situation a lot and over in punt down to the 10 Edelman fair catch who would have thought seven nothing with three minutes to go in the first half Patriots on top Here's a look at the impact players presented by Pepsi. That opening drive by the Patriots that led to the Michelle touchdown from a yard out. But then the Raglan interception where the Patriots were a yard away from scoring another touchdown. Now Tom Brady and the Pats with 3.08 to go in the second quarter. up out of the 12 and tossed down by Hitchens. Hitchens trying to get the crowd into this right now. Offense hasn't, you know, other than the one big play to Hill, there's not a lot to be excited about right here. Can't see, but they're dying for something. They had Raglan, they had the Hill play. They need to get this ball back, and New England needs to go down and quiet them. They're trying to make it a two-score game. Shell again. And he's able to get some room. Get a first down out at the 21. <laughs> Busting ahead for nine. Well, just too big a gap. I mean, just a too big a gap on the left side here. And for Kansas City, you know they're running the ball at you. Two-minute warning coming. Patriots going to let it run down. You're watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 53. Then again, welcome back to the AFC Championship presented by Intuit TurboTax Live. You're talking about the third highest scoring team in a season, any season of all time. They have not been shut out at home in the first half under Andy Reid in 51 games. They scored 565 points this season. At least 25 in every game. And they've been blank so far. Two minutes to go. First half. First down for New England. Fake it to Edelman. And they're able to toss it yeah. to Michelle. And the Verizon halftime report is coming up with J.B. Phil, Nate Boomer, Coach Cower. They'll have their... Latest take on the NFC Championship Final with the Rams advancing to Atlanta. Highlights of the first half on the Verizon Halftime Report. Well, Jim, you were talking about Bill Belichick. He's gone against five number one scoring offenses in the playoffs. Okay, in those five games, him and Brady are four and one. And they average usually 19 points per game given up. I'm telling you, he was ready for this and excited about this great offense from Kansas City. Second and nine, Michelle pushed back by Sorensen. And a big third down coming up. Let's see what they do here with timeouts. Timeout called by the Chiefs. It'll be a third and five on the other side of the timeout. 
The Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award, the league's most prestigious honor. Recognizing players who impact both the game and their communities. Big announcement coming up at halftime. And you can learn more about this year's nominees at that time. Plus, don't forget that NFL Honors, hosted by Steve Harvey on February 2nd, 9 p.m. Eastern on CBS, will have the winner announced. Here's a big third and four. Justin Houston ready to pounce. Well, they've ran it a bunch on these. They've got to be throwing it this time. We'll see if the Chiefs are coming after Brady. He's got time and great catch. White turning around and making the grab for the first down. And Sorensen right here, another pick route. Sorensen is guarding the back. And he takes an angle. One step up, you're done. At that point, the back's already out wide. And a quick little screen. Back to White, he's got blockers in front, and he's motoring down to the Kansas City 37-yard line. Well, it's, it's a screen, and they've had two of these already that were open, but they dropped them or threw them in the dirt, and right here, you see, they've been waiting to get this, and a huge play for the Pats. I'm out, New England. We've been monitoring this. Now six touches, six first downs, five of them coming on third down. Two plays ago, that turnaround catch that kept the ball in the possession of the Patriots. Otherwise, the Chiefs would have had about a minute to work with. As New England would have been in a punting situation. But now instead, inside the 40 of Kansas City. Well, they're coming after Brady here. Let's see what he gets to. He gives it to White. Shuttling down the line and taking off. And he's got about a nine and a half yard game. David Andrews and others helping clear the way. Well, look at Brady sees the pressure off the side, so he goes, let's run it over here. I mean, it's just an advantage having Tom Brady on the field. It's It can never be overstated. He's like having your offensive coordinator, your head coach on the field. He sees it, and he just gets to the play, and all of a sudden, oh, look at that. Perfect play call versus the perfect look. Patriots taking a second timeout, and again, the Verizon halftime report is straight ahead with JB and Phil. You see right there, Coach Cower, Nate, Boomer, they'll have their take on the first half and of the NFC Championship final with the Rams knocking out the Saints earlier today. Second and one. All kinds of time for Brady to go for it. To the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown. Philip Dorsett. A week ago, Dorsett had his first career postseason touchdown in the game against the Chargers. He gets another one this week. And he runs it out and up, and he beats Nelson bad. And Brady knows the corner's not looking, so you just make sure and not overthrow him. And Dorsett does a great job coming back to the ball. And that, the Patriots thought they were going to have to do that more in the first half. Take shots down the field early on the down, and they did it there. And silence this crowd. Extra point good. That's a 90-yard drive in eight plays. And we're back in 30 after this from State Farm. Tom Brady with playoff touchdown pass number 73 of his career. It's 29 yards. And his eyes told you. He saw it. It was there. And he contact by himself. Nelson. Yeah, that's a flag, but <laughs> they got away with it, but it didn't matter. Touchdown and boy, that's now Kansas City. I feel like it's like if they get the ball at all at the 30-yard line. I'm, I'm trying to push this ball down the field with two timeouts. And a kick on the ground. Those should be past the 30. And that's Harris, the tight end. And he's making a nice work out of it across the 40. Now you got to do something with it. Demetrius Harris scooping and running with it. Yeah, absolutely. They, they're going to attack. Last week and this week, in the first half of those two playoff games, this one and a week ago against the Chargers, 41st downs to nine. Almost 600 yards 
and outscoring the opponents 49 to 7. It's incredible, and it's really incredible because they're 11 and 5, which is their lowest number of wins since like what 09 or something. I mean, just and they turn it on. Finality brings focus for this team, and they know it's that time of year. Mahomes, he has the ball stripped by Van Noy, and he's able to recover it back at the 25. Oh my gosh, that's huge that he recovered it, and that's going to take us to the half. But Kansas City, Bill Belichick has taken this defense, and they're playing their best game of the year against the best offense. Unbelievable half by this Pats defensive team. That goes as a 15-yard loss. That means the Chiefs in the first half with a grand total of 32 yards for the half. 14-0 Patriots at the intermission. Halftime is next after these first half highlights from Verizon and a word from your local station. Kansas City will receive the second half kickoff, but the Chiefs just really manhandled on both sides of the football in that first half. 14-0 New England, and let's take a look at next-gen stats powered by AWS. Take a look at this, Tony. Well, this is the Tyreek Hill play. He's double teamed. You see that? I'm heading down to the middle of the field. Nope, I'm going to the right. And he's running 19 miles an hour. They got us there. And you see the percentages of people who are going to get open. And Hill's 43%. Watkins had a higher percentage, but guess what? Hill's going to get you about 30 more yards. So we're going to take that and look at that throw. That's what they need more of right there. Well, that's really Andy positive thing other than the Raglan interception that happened for Kansas City in that first half and right behind that play they could have had a touchdown Mahomes missed, no, missed Williams missed out of the back and, and those two plays are really the ones you look at for Kansas City you had one big play on defense that was it nothing else was really done well they've got to change up what they're doing you got to condense the front on defense on offense you've got to take shots down the field use hill speed you know he's getting double teamed what you do is do exactly like you did there play action on first down get him to run down the middle and all the way to the sideline he's got to work toward the sidelines when you're double teamed you can always run toward the sideline not over the middle of the field over and over again so you saw all those halftime numbers and we showed you the pass play at a hill that went for 42 yards all of the rest of the kansas city plays after the hill catch for 42 went for minus 10 yards it's it's the physicalness I mean, this game, Belichick, what he's done so far, it's been eerily similar to beating them up at the line of scrimmage to me, to the Rams, you know, in, in a certain way. I mean, it's a little bit different with the style. But these guys can't get off press. They're, they're getting five yards downfield, and it's taking three seconds. Here's Traymond Smith from the one. Group of blockers on that left side. And he's at the 28. Evan Washburn, you had a visit at halftime with the Patriots. What'd you hear? Yeah, I spoke to Bill Belichick. He confirmed that they did play that first half on their terms, something that came up in our meetings. But he quickly reminded me they were up pretty decently in that first meeting with Kansas City this season. The priorities defensively here are to continue to get after Mahomes, the three sacks, and continue to try and eliminate the explosive plays, guys. Well, I think Mahomes in that first half. Four out of eight, 65 yards, sacked three times for a loss of 43. Gonna start out with a little screen to Williams. And he runs into Van Noy, who has had a most active game so far. And Tracy, you had a chance to get the Chiefs story at halftime. That's right. Well, you guys talked about it in the first half. Pressure up the middle, and that's where the Chiefs really struggled. Well, offensive line coach Andy Heck was all over his team about it, and he told them three things going into halftime. One, get on the same page. Two, handle the double teams. And three, show some toughness. We'll see if they can shore some things up here in the second half. And here's handoff up the middle. Thank you, Tracy. And Williams twisted around two yards short of the first. Third and two on the way as Trey Flowers who tackled him. He had a sack in that first half as well. Well, when you looked at, we talked about Belichick 4-1 and one against all these number one scoring offenses and holding them to 19 points a game. And with the thing that was pretty much over and over again against these teams, pressure up the middle. He was going to do that regardless. And he knew he wants to get this guy off his spot and move it so it really shortens the field to one side of the field or the other. This is a monster third down if there's ever been one this early. Here's Mahomes, all kinds of time. So Hex crew gave him the protection he longed for. And he's going long to Watkins. And he's able to make the catch down at the 10. 
So finally, Mahomes had time to throw, and he connects for 54 yards. And he's going one-on-one -on -one against Gilmore, who's played fantastically, but you see, you never stop. And Watkins runs a deep in-cut across the middle of the field, and then cuts it upfield. And Mahomes, they're never out of it, Jim. Well, you know, they were down they're 20 never out of it. at halftime of the first game. This year, week You're six, exactly 15, right. 14 tonight. You can have a great plan, and guess what? That quarterback, someone, there's magic, and they can just make stuff Here happen. Here he goes to the end zone, and it's caught by Kelsey for a touchdown. He beat J.C. Jackson. So a lightning strike, as you foreshadowed, Tony. 54 yards to Watkins, and then right behind it, the touchdown throw to Kelsey. Well, he goes up, and this is the guy who's got to have a monster half. J.C. Jackson's guarding him, but you see how there's no one in the middle of the field there? It's because they're doubling Hill, and this ball gets just over the hands of Van Noy. And this place, you want to get him fired up, you come right out after half, four plays, 74 yards. We got an AFC Championship game at Arrowhead, Jim. Here's an extra point try, and it is good by Butker. Well, you said the third and two was a pivotal situation. Couldn't afford to come right out and go three and out. They hit the long one, back it up with a touchdown throw. Again, welcome back to the AFC Championship, presented by Intuit TurboTax Live. And we had just mentioned that the Chiefs were down 24 to 9 at halftime back in week six, and suddenly that game switched in a second. Mahomes with four touchdown passes in the second half, so now give him five against New England this year, all in the second half. You weren't going to hold this offense down. They're too talented, they're going to score. But New England knew they had to get the lead early in this game because they knew they were explosive and could come right out. And the touchdown, this is what made the touchdown great. See the safety right here? He's going to go double on Tyreek Hill. That leaves the whole side of the field down here for Kelsey. Give Andy Reid credit. Let's put Hill over here and put Kelsey in the middle. Oh, he's ready to go now. Mahomes is feeling it. And trying to get the defense ready, right? Yeah, looking over at the guy that's considered the emotional leader of this team, Eric Berry, is now Berry and the defense take the field for the first time in the second half. Brady swings it over. Burkhead comes under it and goes out of bounds after a pickup of about six. Well, and this is why, Tom, look at this ball right in front. So you're always ahead of the change. Now it's second and four, second and five, and it's like, the ball's never really that far off where a guy has to stop and turn around and gets one yard. They come back with Michelle, who had 75 on the ground in the first half. They've got to stop the run. Everyone's up in there for Kansas City now. Looking to throw again. And near the sticks, but maybe a yard short is Edelman. It'll be third and one. This is exactly how they have to play, though, Jim. They've got to get the big guys up in there and make Brady throw the ball outside the numbers. They don't have a star Josh Gordon guy receiver out there outside the numbers. All their stuff is inside. Edelman, three catches on the night now with 101 all-time postseason catches. Second most, third and one. Burkhead! They grabbed him, but he's going to have the first, it appears. And as he dove right into the middle with Reggie Ragland giving everything he had to keep him back. The extra effort just diving up right there. Ragland grabs him, and he does get the first down. Looks a little bit like a goal line shot there, didn't it? <laughs> yes. Right down the line. Good job by CBS. Wow, they're on top of things today. <laughs> New set of downs. 17 first downs already for New England. And a play action. And pass got away from him. Going for Gronk. And earlier in the game, they ran this and got him. Pull the guard. Throw it. This time, Hitchens stays right back. And 
Brady does a good job not throwing that in front of him because that was going the other way. A little adjustment by Kansas City so far, it looks like, on offense, a little bit on defense. Adjustment game. Second and ten. Great job breaking a tackle. They were on him early. Michelle got away from Sorensen and turns it into a four-yard game, but it's going to be third and six. New England with a just ahead of the curve type plan, right? Early in the half, how many times they run the ball on third down? Third and four, third and five. That was why kept picking up those firsts. And at this point, you got to assume they're done with that. You can only get so many and go to the well. If I'm Kansas City, I'm rushing the passer. You want to run it again, take your chances. Those four guys got to stand up here. If you're Brady, he knows he's got to get this ball off fast. They're eight out of ten on third down. Third and six, and it's not down. And they'll take the Patriots off the field. Chris Jones got a hand on it. And Jones, see Barry right there, gets a little hold on him, but that's on the line. Those two are going to battle. But Jones right here on the double team and gets his hand up. Jones is probably the biggest player on that field, and that hand gets up there about 10 feet sometimes. Allen's punt. It's a line drive. Hill. No real estate that side. And oh boy, did that cost him. Humbar got him back at about the seven. And there is a flag. That was a 43 yard punt and a loss of 12 on the run back. I mean, when the Chiefs have taken losses on plays, the three sacks have lost 14, 14, and 15. This return lost 12. Just trying to do too much. Just needed to go During out. the return. During the return. Illegal block in the back. Return team number 51. Now he's half the distance to the goal line for the end of the run. First down, Kansas City. So that will bring the football back inside the five. Mahomes, can he? Keep the momentum going that he had the last time out on the field. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by TurboTax Live with CPAs on demand. McDonald's. And by Tide, number one stain and odor fighting power, number one trusted. Looking at the National World War I Museum and Memorial right here in Kansas City as we give a special shout out to all of our troops watching this game at home and abroad. Backed up to the four yard line. And going out of the gun, standing in the end zone. Here's Mahomes. Goes to Harris. And Van Noy doesn't take any of the fakes. They're able to pick up about two. That last drive, two quick plays and changed the entire tenor of this game. That it did. And third and three, they're not scared. Wasn't the play call, but Watkins never stops running. And you see this great shot of the throw, and Kelsey had a great route against Jackson. And look at that catch. Right back in the game. Kelsey had 103 catches on the season. And the second most receiving yards in the season ever by a tight end. Williams! And Noy trying to bring it in. Look at that effort. That picks up the first. That's the biggest running play by far tonight for Kansas City. And you'll see the motion. Come on, Tyreek, come across. You're getting it. Nope. He gives the ball to Williams, and he does the rest on a draw. And this is a little bit why you don't have to have these big plays. If Kansas City just throws five-yard outs, six-yard hitches, little stuff, then all of a sudden everything gets open. Longest run by the Chiefs, and Andrew Wiley helped uh, push Williams ahead to pick up a first as he came in on the tackle of Van Noy. False start. Offense. Number 75. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. So this is, as you've said, this is what Mahomes can do. He was only four out of eight in the first half, but he's four for four in the first six minutes of the third quarter, including a touchdown. Um, we, we kept looking at it and talking all week. You know, me and you were sitting there, and it's like, you know, it reminds you of the Warriors where it's like it's just in a three-minute span. It's like, oh, there was five three-pointers in a row. And it was like, what happened? You're just tied. Now you're down 10. It's like 
The Pats knew that. The Patriots came into the game knowing they had to have the lead, and they did. And they know it's a 16 minute game. Look at that pass. The ball comes out. I, it's going to be on the field. Oh, Nobody. Oh, that's rule really incomplete. Finally, from the secondary. Back judge comes in and rules incomplete. Kelsey was the intended target. It was a very uh, Mahomes like pass. Did you I, see that? I think it was a no look throw. Yes, it was. And it's just a you know an RPO run pass option. He he can hand the ball off. He decides to throw it. But look at he's holding the defender and throws it to his left. Yeah. And we, holds Simon. We were here for that other no look pass. The game against the Ravens in early December. That should have been caught. Kelsey so dependable, not that time though. Yeah, that's even surprised Kelsey. <laughs> Second and 15. And now, in a jam again. And that's what we saw a lot of in the first half. As the Patriots, you see Lawrence Guy, John Simon, all in on him. Setting up third and long. Well, this is the same as blitzing up the middle. So watch this side. You come, you come, up and under. And what happens is Mahomes then has to move from that middle spot. You don't have to blitz to do it. There's unique ways, and they're doing it right now. And when Mahomes starts to move, the other side of the line is created. It's a really special plan that Belichick has put together up front to try and move Mahomes from that spot. And he's right now moving into it. Got to get all the way out to the 26 for a first. Mahomes moves Ware right over to his right side. He got hit when he threw it, and it got knocked down. Got knocked down by Jason McCourty. Oh, I thought he got hit in the helmet. They got the pressure up the middle, and Mahomes, once again, another great stunt by the Patriots to get pressure right up the middle, but does he get the hand in the face? No, he got on the shoulder, it looked like. It's probably a good no call. Ray Flowers. Mahomes was trying to connect with Chris Conley, and now Colquitt punts from the end zone. He missed this one. There's a line drive at the 50. Stutter step for a brief second, and that is Edelman diving to about the 37. So the Patriots set up an excellent field position here. 14-7, New England, mid-third. Patriots trying to advance to the Super Bowl for the third straight year, what would be five out of six. The Chiefs, meanwhile, have not been since Super Bowl IV, 49 seasons ago, when Hank Stram took them for the second time. They were, of course, in the first ever Super Bowl against Green Bay as well. First down, Kansas City territory. Chiefs defense able to stack up Michelle for a gain of a mere yard. Maroon 5 takes center stage at the Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show featuring Travis Scott and Big Boy. Tune in February 3rd on CBS. Now you see now Kansas City 4D lineman and Justin Houston out there. They're trying to stop the run. Second and eight. Open is Hogan. Makes the catch, and he is popped by Nelson, but holds on for a first down. Hogan goes up, goes out, 10 yards, simple throw catch. First catch of the night for Hogan. But they got to keep the big guys in, Jim. I feel like, don't you? They got to keep them in to at least make them throw it. I mean, the, the Patriots aren't. They know when they have those five big guys in the game. Right here, you see these five big guys right there in the middle. Those guys, you have to push this ball down. It's going to be hard to run against them. There's a handoff to Michelle and Williams quickly on top of them. And again, with New England operating with a short field after the punt and run back by Edelman to the 37. They're already at the 23 of Kansas City. It is a tough direction to kick. That direction that New England's going, we were seeing warm -ups. Yeah. yeah, it was like, even right where they're at right there, it was like getting there by five yards only. I mean, it's, you're into the wind, it's crosswind there, it's tough. Second and eight, and Brady goes to the gun. Little flip, and pass to White. And we've got a marker on the field. This, this is going to be offensive pass interference. 
the Chiefs finally, or it's going to be holding on the defense if they don't see it as pass interference. But Ward was, and Dorsett were just grabbing each other for 10 yards. Pass interference. Pass interference. Offense. Offense. Number 13. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay second down. You saw Dorsett react to it when he was looking over at the sideline. He knew it was going to be on him. And it's a pick play. You see the pick play up top? Dorsett's got to go run and get in the way. I think it was Ward there who was covering. And to your point now, backing up New England to the 33. Ooh, yeah. Can they even kick this? It'll be 51 yards, but it's only second down here. Second and 19. New England's pretty smart. If they hand this ball off or throw a screen or something, they're going to get back in field goal range. If you're throwing it, you better get out quick. Back over to Hogan. Thrown down by Kendall Fuller after two. Brady has, again, only been hurried twice. This is like well, a, a line we saw last week. The Chargers, you thought, with the likes of Bosa and Ingram, never got a hand on them. Only five sacks surrendered in the last eight games. You know, you know, Jim, because they're running the ball so well, you never have to really, you can always stay ahead of the chains. But now, I mean, this almost has to be a draw. It is. Handoff. White trying to cut outside, and then... Is brought down at about the 30 by Houston. This will be 48 yards from here. Right. We're going to see about that leg. This direction is difficult. Jay Feely, you saw it in warm-ups. Yeah, Tell they, us were about it. they were both struggling in warm-ups. No kicker really went back much over 50, although Goskowski made a 53-yarder going this way in warm-ups. He's been historically good, 90% in his career in the playoffs. This is from 47, actually. And here's the kick. He hammers it right into the net. That, that looked pretty tough. <laughs> Made it look easy. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's back to a 10-point margin now, 17-7. The NFL on CBS, sponsored by Shazam. Just say the word, April 5th. And by Verizon, the unlimited plan you need on the network you deserve. Down in the plaza area here in Kansas City, the city of fountains. Mahomes and the Chiefs down 10. That's a eight-yard field goal drive, if you'll call it that, by the Patriots, who've had already in this game an 80 and 90-yard touchdown drive. Bring him out to the 25. Again, considered the league's most prestigious honor, the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award, recognizing players who have made significant impacts in the game and in the community. This year's nominee for the Kansas City Chiefs, Dustin Colquitt. And for the Patriots, Devin McCourty. This year's winner will be announced at NFL Honors, hosted by Steve Harvey, the night before Super Bowl 53. And you can learn all about this year's nominees. Visit NFL.com slash Man of the Year. Devin and Jason McCourty, if they get there, will be the first set of twins to ever play in the same Super Bowl. The Barbers have played in Super Bowls, but not at the same time. Here's a first and ten. A little stiff arm to try to buy some time from Chung, and he's able to throw it away. Mahomes said we've seen this so many times, Tony, all this pressure on him. Well, this is this is a Belichick going against a young guy. You see the twists and the stunts. They come up the middle. They're trying to say, we're coming up the middle, run out of the pocket, run out of the pocket. And they have these other guys waiting. So this is what you can do to young guys. You make him feel this internal pressure so he starts to move out, and you're actually having guys going to the area where they move out to because they're like, oh, they're going here. You can force him places. He needs to get the ball out of his hands quickly and throw quick routes and move the chains. They're behind him, and he's going to take off with it. And he's able to get near it. Again, it was Chung. Gave him a pretty good jolt. Let's see what the spot is. Mahomes didn't slide. He elected to take him on. Well, look, just look at the middle backers. You're going to be shocked here, everybody. But they blitz up the middle, and it makes him have to move. And 
He does a good job scrambling, but he's going to have to get this ball out of his hands and get it to his playmakers, and he pays for it at the end. But crowd crowd they, didn't like the spot, but you could see right there he was short of the 35. So his third and less than a yard. And he's going to dive for it and get it. <laughs> Defensive signal caller for the Patriots. Everyone seems to believe it's a foregone conclusion. He'll be the next coach of the Miami Dolphins. And when he does, this will be the 26th different coach to come into the AFC East since Bill Belichick <laughs> came to New England. 26 out of the other three teams. Are you saying he has a way of getting coaches to move on from the NFC East when they don't want to? <laughs> All kinds of time goes underneath. Damian Williams. And well, he won the division 10 straight years and 15 out of 16. Yeah, that's going to cost a lot of people jobs. And he's done that. That's what they've done is, you know, I, I don't think it'll ever be done again. New England in the salary cap era, the ability to sustain this without Bill Belichick has done this. I mean, look at his defense. Tell me the two superstar guys. I mean, who are the guys? They never draft the fourth guy in the draft. You know, they're always picking 28. They're always at the end. And somehow yeah. at the end of the year, their defense are always playing really good football. I mean, they teach these guys, they get better, and he knows how to stop certain schemes. Another internal pressure here. Second and six. Picks up about four. So another third down and short coming up for Kansas City. Someone did the math on all the games that Belichick has participated in as an assistant or as a head coach, regular in post, and he was informed that his game last week was his 750th. <laughs> he was shocked to be said that. <laughs> He goes, really? He liked that. He did. He's like, I didn't know that. That's third and two. Well, actually, it's called, it's like third and three. Well, right here, the front, they're trying to say you're not going to run this. But they should still try if they could to the left. Uh oh little sidearm connection. He is able to get that right around, I believe, his high tower. And Watkins makes the grab. Well, this is impressive because it's a running play, and he just Flavor. throws it. Adrian Claiborne was coming after him. Wow. Mahomes was really special there. He did. He knew he was going to take the hit, but he also knew if he threw it right away that Claiborne's hand was in the window. So he had to wait for the receiver to come in, and he's going to take a beating on the play. That was outstanding. And kept him on the field. Catches him. Running after it is Williams. Shakes free from one defender, Crossan. This was the same kind of throw that you diagrammed in the Patriots' first possession to Burkhead, where he catches him on the run. This time it was Williams from Mahomes. You're exactly right, Jim. And if you could throw that ball out in front, they sprint and they can get as many yards as possible. If that ball's on the back shoulder, that ball only goes, it's caught, he's tackled, and it's like, oh, what well, could have been? That's an explosive play. And here they come. That went for 33. <laughs> to the end zone and over the head of Williams. That's the end of the third quarter. We're going to the fourth. Who will be the Rams opponent down in Atlanta? We'll find out in the next 15. All right, heading to the fourth. Jim Nance, Tony Romo, and all the crew. Supposed to be a full lunar eclipse later tonight. That's what I heard. Strange things happen. Does, uh, <laughs> what do they call it? The blood? There's wolf in there somewhere. Blood wolf moon or something? <laughs> wolf blood moon tonight they called it? I was like, what happens? Is Marty McFly or Teen Wolf come on? All right, first play of the fourth. In the red zone, to the end zone, and that'll be a flag on Jackson. Had hold of Kelsey. The Chiefs are starting to do a great job of using Tyreek Hill. And watch, inside leverage, he has the whole corner route, and they've got to go to Kelsey. Pass interference. Defense. For 31. Foul through the end zone. The ball he plays for the one yard line. The ball First down, at the Kansas one. City. Gene Steratore. Good call for pass interference, guys, because it materially affects that receiver by turning him. So yeah. that turns enough restriction in effect for a flag. New England 
called for only five DPIs the whole season. Called for that one, setting up the Chiefs just a yard away. Since Watkins in motion. Mahomes rolling out. Throws it. Caught for the touchdown. Damian Williams. It's a one-person route. You fake everybody goes left. Running back goes to the flat. Quarterback goes out. He looks inside and throws a dart. And the speed of Williams running. Hightower. Hightower knew his responsibility. Did it correct. He just wasn't fast enough to keep up with Williams. And that throw is actually a great throw because it keeps Williams in bounds. If you throw him too far out in front, his foot could hit out of bounds. That's a subtle move, but great spot with the ball. And what a big time drive to answer by KC. And now Butker makes it a field goal game. Converting. Kansas City had 32 yards in the first half. They got 145 already in the second. Welcome back to the AFC Championship presented by Intuit Turbo Tax Live. A lot of key plays on that drive. There was a defensive pass interference call. Set him up at the one. There was a 33-yard pass out of the backfield to Williams earlier. But there was that third down conversion when Mahomes had to improvise with Adrian Claiborne barreling after him. And he sidearmed it around him to pick up a first. It was a great play. Not many people remember it, except for the great Jim Nance. And that's what kept that drive alive. Quarterback stood in and took the big hit and moved the chains. At the six, Patterson. Met by a whole group of chief special teamers. Tune in next Sunday. Here we go, 3 p.m. Eastern on ESPN, and watch the NFL's best battle for AFC and NFC pride as traditional rivals join forces. 2019 Pro Bowl presented by Verizon. Commissioner Roger Goodell here at Arrowhead. Willie really Lanier right next to him, who's the honorary captain for the Chiefs tonight. This place is rocking now. Brady play action. Trying to silence him. And he's able to connect with Edelman. Not to about the 43. That'll quiet things for a minute. Well, and you'll see the safeties are going by, but Edelman's going to go right in the middle of the field. And that's where it's wide open when the safeties get wide. And a strike by Brady, who's going to have to... I think Tom... He knows this, this 17 ain't holding up the rest of the game, right? I think he knows he's got to go ahead and put points on the board on this drive. It's going to take more than that. Everyone can feel it. 14 minutes to go. Michelle, no gain, Anthony Hitchens. Now Kansas City has now seen enough of this run game where they can shoot the gap quickly. They've got the big three personnel in. And this place is going, it's getting louder and louder. Patterson in the backfield. Off Brady's right hip. Back to Michelle. Finds a tiny seam. And he's pushed back near the first down yardage. The systematic approach of the Patriots, as soon as they got rid of the big people and brought, you know, smaller people on the field, they said, okay, we're just going to run the football. You want to keep 2D tackles? Two outside backers is rush ends and a bunch of nickel and dime and corners and safeties, then we're going to run the ball. Generous spot, put the ball at the 46 and a first. Michelle again, and he hops forward and spins around, makes the most out of it as he's moving in on a 100-yard game. Brady, 17 out of 24. 187 yards in this game. One and one. There's 
Mahomes with the two touchdown passes in the second half. Out of the backfield is the fullback, Devlin. And he's got a first down. Raglan tackles him after a gain of 10. Wow. This... Watch how fast Brady gets this ball out. Right when he hits that last step, five, boom, that ball. And once again, you mentioned it, Jim. See how perfect on target that is? I mean, that's the difference between getting four yards, making a guy stumble, and then the best quarterbacks in the league, up, oh, first down, move the chains. And by the way, that's a fullback running a wheel exactly. route. So it's like yeah. nobody does How that. How often do you see that? <laughs> it doesn't happen. Back to Michelle. Dive ahead for three. Sony Michelle on the carry. Tonight's special late, late show, James Gordon. Don't miss Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson. He'll be on the show. Plus, Chris Pratt on an all new late, late show tonight after your local news. Remember all those big games against Peyton Manning and they would go to Indianapolis when they would play in that game and you had those edge rushers, Freeney, Mathis, Mathis, and they would run the same plan I feel like they're doing today. Ball's out and then you'll take one or two shots, but then you're running the football the whole game and you're just going to do that over and over and make it a physical game up front. Here's a second and seven out of the backfield they go. And James White is stopped. After two Chiefs converge, including Fuller. Now you got a third and two coming up, Tony. Well, the, the Kansas City has to stop. You know, these little rub routes. I mean, they keep running the same. It's man-to-man, -man, but they have to run over the top of somebody. And these inside linebackers or guys in the middle of the field guarding the back or the fullback have to run, and they have to bubble over someone. It's just a quick throw for four yards. And it's the same thing here. It's like... Someone is guarding in here, this back. That back is James White. And he has been such a force on third down. Here he is getting the handle. This time he stopped about a half yard short. Now what do you do? Oh, Bill Belichick's going for it. <laughs> He's not even going to think about this. He's going to bring in Burkhead. He's going to go big. He's going to bring Dwayne Allen, the, the second tight end. Yeah. They're going to measure it first. Now, this is good and bad for the Chiefs. It's going to be short. It's going to be fourth down. It's good for the Chiefs because the Patriots love to get up to the ball and snap it really quickly. So someone's just a little late to their gap. And you know what Brady likes to do so often in his career? It's a quarterback sneak or it's a run-up. If he sees the quarterback sneak, he'll snap it right away and go. If not, they like to run it on the edge. It's hard to stop both. If you condense the front and move everyone in there over the center, we're going to run the ball wide on the edge. If you don't, we're quarterback sneaking it. Get up to that ball quick. He takes a look. Is the quarterback sneak there? Burke heads the running back. He gets the handle. He's pushed back. He's denied. Kansas City stops New England. I can't believe they just did that. Wow. Sorensen gets in on the tackle and grabs his legs. There's Sorensen, 49. Burkhead. Chiefs ball. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the NFL. State Farm here to help life go right. And by Taco Bell's new cravings value menu, value beyond belief, Lamar Hunt. We have a legend around here and for all he did for football, and man credited with coining the term Super Bowl. And, of course, the Lamar Hunt Trophy will be handed out to the AFC champion just a short while from now. Could you imagine if you got to 
Get your dad's trophy. Uh, Clark Hunt would be there to That's receive amazing. it. It's a handoff to Williams. Now, this is a rush defense that was next to last in the league in yards given up per carry. But, boy, did they make a play on fourth and a foot. And the big stop. And there's Bob Sutton, the D corner. He didn't like that stop, did he, Jim? The old Army head coach. That's right. At West Point from 91 through 99. There's a second and eight. Mahomes over the top and incomplete. Looking for Williams down the field. Hill, Tyreek Hill, still just one catch. It was that one big catch in the first half. They went for 42. They're just trying to get down the field so far. And they could have just thrown that for a check down and gotten 10 yards. And they're so explosive, but it's just... They've got to get this ball out just a hair quicker. Third and eight with oh, wear in. Cover zero, Jim. This is now the game's on the line. Cover zero means everyone's coming. They've got to get this ball out. Let's see if Mahomes recognizes. He does. He lofts it up in the air and just basically threw it away in the area of Hill, and he got decked. And this hurt Mahomes in the first game in the first half. They sent cover zero, and this is where being a young guy, you have to throw this ball. You're going to get hit. They have more guys rushing than you have blocking. And they adjusted in the second half. New England waited this whole game to use that scheme. They didn't come right back with it. They waited until it became a big play, and they brought it back. And Mahomes isn't Brady. He's not changing plays at the line of scrimmage yet because he's so young. Big stand by the Patriot defense, forcing the three and out. Big hop here. Oh, it's touched by and it's picked up by Teeter! Derek Teeter for the touchdown! Well, it's going to be a muck because you can't advance it. It's going to be right where he picked it up. It bounced off of Edelman. Well, if Edelman touches it, it's Chiefs ball right there. It's not a touchdown like you right, said. Can't a advance a muff punt. But it, he's, is he making it seem like he didn't touch it? Boy, the kick just carry him like it was off of concrete. Oh, this is going to be so close. Oh, my gosh, Jim. Look at his right thumb. Look at his right thumb. No. Let's see the shoulder. No. Did he touch the forearm, maybe? I don't think it. I don't know there. Let's see here. See what the ruling on the field is going to be key. I don't think it touched him. Whatever this call is, it's huge because it would be hard to overturn it either way. The ruling on the field is that the receiving team touched the ball, and then it was recovered by the kicking team. So it was enough that there was no advance. Kansas City will be awarded the spot when they recovered it. First down. So, as you said, that's key. That is key, Gene Steratur, what the call was going to be on the field, because there's got to be enough visual evidence to overturn it. So what did you see here? Most definitely, Jim. The point is well taken. It ha the ruling on the field is that he did touch it. So something must be clear and obvious. Oh. Go ahead, Nance. Tell us real quick before we go to commercial. <laughs> they Make a call. <laughs> <laughs> you have it when we come back. There is so much riding on this call right here. Gene Steratore, we've had a chance to look at a lot of these angles. What have you seen? You know, the two pieces that I'm concentrating on, Jim, are the thumbs. And it appears from this angle that the right thumb would be the thumb under question as it lifts there. Again, clear and obvious ruling on the field is that it touched uh, the returner. But right thumb there doesn't touch it. But then when we look it. at this thumb, we see nothing. It, we saw the other angles. It didn't hit anywhere on the shoulder. It's the, one of these two thumbs. Now, we know the right thumb didn't work there. The left thumb looks like it hits there. See how the right thumb never touches? But the left thumb, when you turn it around from the other angle, doesn't look like it hits. It's, it's, it's so difficult because from each angle, it's like it could touch, it could not. If you, if you go, so now look at the left thumb. The left thumb was the key right here. Mm. 
I mean, this is like the grassy knoll right here. What do you guys think? I mean, <laughs> well, here's if up. it's me, I'm going to overturn this and say that it did not touch anybody and go with it being down. If you look at the left thumb on the one angle, although the ball disappears or the thumb disappears, it's clear in front up that it doesn't really change its direction. I would, I would think, I would think that they would overturn this play to not touch tonight. And we've got multiple angles, so this is not a think. It has to be clear and obvious. Well, and Gene, if they're, if they're, if they're watching it this long, you think they've looked at every angle? Then you're saying you're going to make the same call that you've come up with. That would be my thought. My thought, Tony. I'm going to, I'm going to agree with you, Gene. I'm After review the play, you determined that the receiver did not touch the ball. Therefore. The ball is dead in the spot of Kansas City's recovery. The ball will be New England's ball at, the, at that spot, first and ten. We put eight minutes and 39 seconds on the game clock. 8.39. It's a good thing that Edelman got a manicure yesterday. <laughs> I tell you what. That was Man, that was, but he did. The moment it happened, he was like, "I didn't touch it." Yeah, he was emphatic if, about it. If he would have, he'd have been sprinting after that. Although you can't advance it. I mean, it's hard to say it's a hundred percent either way. But there was a lot of angles. If you're a Chiefs fan, they're dead wrong, and if you're a Patriots fan, you got you, yeah, you got it dead you're right. You're never going to convince either side. No, it's, and I'm not even convinced. There's no, there's no convinced a hundred percent on that. But Gene saw all the angles and he made a call. The first down run. And Michelle for two. If you're not convinced there's Ooh. anything conclusive, aren't Ooh. you supposed to go with the ruling on the field then? Ooh, that's a whole nother level. Yeah, you are. Right, Gene? Well, that, they're, they're that, saying they're convinced, right, Gene? And, and you've got to give New York credit on that, guys, because they're looking at all of these, and they have obviously seen something up at the command center that gave them those words, clear and obvious. Okay. That last carry by Michelle gives him a 100-yard night. 101 on 27 carries. They fake to him on the play action, and the pass is intercepted. That's Sorensen with the football on the deflection. Sorensen who made the stop on fourth down. It went off of Edelman's hands. Well, they have a saying in basketball, the ball doesn't lie. It was going to eventually go back to the Chiefs. This ball goes right through the fingertips of Edelman. And Sorensen returns. They were going to get this ball either way. Brady looks off, fires it. You're saying Edelman's fingertips <laughs> were going to come into play in some form or fashion. Oh, man. But the ball, they actually end up three yards closer if you're the Chiefs at the 23. And they take over with 7.55 to go. No their second interception of Brady in this game. Now, Jim, last time you called this, remember the sack he took? It's right around the spot. You can't get out of field goal range. You have that. Go try and score a touchdown, though, right here. Right down the middle. And he fires it. Complete to Watkins for about eight. Sammy Watkins right over the middle of the field. The second guy in the read. Did he catch that ball? Oh, that looks out right there. That's not a catch, Jim. Nope. Ball was on the ground, and the challenge flag is out on the New England sideline. Gene, I'd bring you in, but I feel like you'd be right 100% on this one, so. <laughs> Boy, let's give him a win. <laughs> what did you see there, Gene? <laughs> yeah, thanks for giving me the alarm. Yeah, come on. Guys. Give so a New England is yeah. challenging the rolling and field of the lead catch. All right. They'll review it. Challenge issued by Coach Belichick. Back in 60 seconds. All right, Blakeman doesn't have to take too long with this one. Give the play. The ball hit the ground. It is an incomplete pass. We put seven minutes, 52 seconds on the game clock. And New England will not be charged with the timeout. Now will put the football back at the 23 and second and 10. Now, 
The game between Belichick and Reed comes into play. When does the cover zero come back up? Does he come right back with it right now? And does Mahomes change the play? There's a chance they're coming right after him with everyone again. Coming to the near side, the Williams. He's got a hole wide up the field. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And sure enough, the all-out pressure comes. And Andy Reid with the perfect call. And Belichick was not happy. The backside end was supposed to stay back and pop out. He didn't. And Andy Reid, with a perfect call against all-out pressure, sends the Chiefs with the lead at Arrowhead. Oh, Jim. Back from 14-0 down at halftime. Butker makes it a four-point margin. Mahomes with three touchdown passes in the second half tonight. After four second-half touchdowns back on week six. They're never out of it. They're too explosive. They got talent. They got coaching. They got everything. And it's all set up by the interception by Sorensen off the fingertips. How about the two big plays by Sorensen in this quarter? Huge. And now watch. It's a screen over here. But watch how everyone's going to go across the field. And so... The Patriots were blitzing, but when they saw the rollout, they kind of bailed out. The problem is there's no one over there. And Flowers, Claiborne, all the guys, Claiborne went upfield. And someone missed their mark backside. For Williams, that's his second touchdown catch. I mean, what a find he has been. He actually paid a visit a while back when he was a free agent. He went up to Foxborough. Patriots liked him a lot. They didn't sign him. He'd actually been here first. And he said, I'm going to go take a visit. Went up to New England, came back and signed with Kansas City. Well, he made the biggest play of the day by far. And I tell you right now, did you think it'd be anything different? Tom Brady, 745. AFC Championship game. Yeah, I did at halftime. I did think it'd be a little different. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this game unfolding at that point. But, you know, the Rams came back from 13-0 down today against the Saints to win. And now the Chiefs have fought back from a 14-0 deficit to take the lead with a half quarter to go. There's a ton of time. You can still run this ball. But I can tell you, they're going to put this ball, they'll run it, but they're going to put this ball in Tom Brady's hands, and he's going to start to get in shotgun and drop back and pass. They haven't done it much today. It's coming, though, on this drive. They're going to put the season in his hands with a sprinkled-in run or two. Make to Patterson. Now they throw it to him. Able to wiggle free, escaping what would have been a sizable loss. Nice move by Cordero Patterson. And Brady wanted to look downfield. He just, when they know you're going to throw, this ball's going to have to get out. He's going to have to stand in and take hits, throwing the ball under duress if he's going to push the ball downfield. A little delay with uh, what's going on, Jim? Oh. <laughs> We got a little rambunctious chief fan that decided to want to get in the middle of things, so holds up play for a moment. What is what has Bob Sutton done in the second half? Defensive coordinator for the Chiefs. Well, he started putting the five big men on the field. So you got the three big linemen and then the two outside backers, but he really made it into a four four down line basically, and that really made New England have to work a lot harder they weren't able to run as much and it was a great adjustment Andy Reid same way in the second half is adjusted and and the biggest thing is the offense for the Patriots has stalled a little bit it just hasn't you know they got three points in the half and you know look at look at the first half they came out ran the ball dominated efficient second half just no big plays. Nothing ever down the field. A chunk play here. Nothing like that. 
But you are talking about the guy who's played 17 seasons, okay? He's hurting the other one, but 17 seasons. He's played in 13 AFC Championship games. I think he feels pretty comfortable in this spot right here. How is that possible? It's I not. know you've asked that all season long. Second and seven. Stands in the pocket and throws. Intended for Edelman, no flag. So now this gives the Chiefs sack specialist. Oh, there is a flag. Defense number 95. Roughing the passer. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. A hit to the face on by, to the helmet by Chris Jones. Uh, he's reaching over. And Chris Jones in the middle, you're going to see him push the pocket on Tooney. And right there he slaps. And right that where? looks right where? similar to the one earlier where he didn't hit him. I, I think that's the same thing that happened to Mahomes earlier. With Trey Flowers. Yep. First down, 43. Let me bring in Gene Steratore. Did you see that, Gene? No, it, 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 it's not contact to the head. And in Cleet's defense, Jim, his angle's difficult there. But you do have to see it to call it. You know, you just can't go by that action. But it's a swing and a miss. And uh, it's a missed call for roughing the passer there. Well, Patriots get a break. Here we go. Now they're going to get in the drop back game. You can hand this ball off to the right. Second and eight. Lobs it down the field in the area of Gronkowski. And that was Eric Berry who was, oh, he was running right there on the back of Gronkowski. <laughs> running is a is an interesting term because watch Berry on this. Hold him. Still holding him. Still hold him. And this is the key. The, the, the Chiefs hold a lot. It's just whether they're getting called. And I think in this game, they held a little bit. And they're going to keep going until there's a call. And there wasn't a defensive pass interference, I don't believe, in the first half. But Third they're letting him play. They're letting him play, Jim. Gronkowski with three catches all coming in the first quarter. Brady, all kinds of time. Oh, Hogan. Hogan reaches out, and it's ruled a catch. And what a magnificent catch it is by Hogan for 11. Seeing another story. Well, Hogan goes up and one hands it. Incredible catch if it's true. The challenge flags out. <laughs> Andy Reid wasn't even going to let him try and snap this ball. Hard to tell from that angle. Kansas the City is challenging the rule on the field of a completed catch. All right, this has turned into the Gene Steratore show here in the fourth quarter. Gene? You know, using all the basketball analogies, I'd like to get a couple layups, guys. I'm not getting too many layups here. This is really tight. Remember now, ruling on the field complete. Ball can move and still be in possession. As Hogan's reaching and bringing that back, he's squeezing that football in his arms. Now, is there movement? Yes. Does it touch the ground? Yes, but is it out of his control? That's how we have to break that down. That's what I'm sure Cleet in New York is looking at right now. Look at him spear that football and then reel it in with Nelson on his back. Listening to you, Gene, it sounds like catch. My feeling on it, Jim, and again, uh, on this play, is there enough for me to say that that should be overturned to incomplete? It really isn't. That's a stands play to me, to use officiating language, because it just doesn't jump, it doesn't jump off the screen at me as being something to overturn. Well, what a catch then. I mean, that's unbelievable. unbelievable. And at the biggest play, you know, for the Patriots of this game, trailing, I mean, needing this. On third down. This, uh, uh, this is going to be really tough. I feel like it's it's going to be hard to overturn that. There's just nothing that really defined, like, he, did it 100% hit the ground even. It's tough. Right. 
And that's when it takes you to stands, Tony. That's kind of as you're breaking those down. If that's what you end up, let's hear what Cleet Blakeman has to say. After review the play, ruling on the field, stands is called. Here's a catch. Push down New England. Gibson will be charged with his first timeout. This crowd's not real happy right now. No, they, they saw the roughing on the board. They thought they saw the completion. They had a call on the roughing. That one, they, they were had a reason to be upset. Okay. Remember now, they have to still score it. I mean, a touch at a certain point, they're going to be going for it on fourth down. And it's probably to that point no matter what already. To Burkhead, big lane for him. He bounces out for about 14. Get Trent Brown some credit for throwing that block. Well, and this has been open for a little bit. But the left side, these three guys, there's only three guys on defense right there. And they finally got to it. New England doesn't usually run weak side zone. In other words, just one guy, no fullback or anybody. They ran weak. And it's been there a few times, and they finally got to it. That's not a good sign if they're now getting to that, because that's there over and over again. Longest run of the night for New England by Burkhead with 14. Brady. And there's Gronk with his first catch since the first quarter. And he fights for that first down yardage. And he's got it. Uh, this is Gronk on a simple crossing route. And he gets away from Sorensen in a big time play. But that formation, Jim, I bet you haven't seen that formation in 10 years. It was two guys in a split back, like a like an, an under center with two guys, <laughs> no one right behind you. They come up with new stuff every week. This what is a, huge here. From the 19. Burkhead. Give him three. Running behind Tooney. And that's the run again, the weak side little area that they've just all of a sudden found. And there's a chance you're going to see them run that again before this drive is over. Four and a half to go. And there's the Kraft, the chairman, CEO, Jonathan Kraft, president of the Patriots. What a job they've done. Tomorrow marks 25 years since they bought the franchise. Has it been a good run, or are they doing okay? Okay. <laughs> they've done great things. Second and seven. Another completion. Out of bounds at the 11 is Burkhead. Is this setting up for Mahomes to have to do what Brady's done his entire career? Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm just wondering a little bit. I'm not giving New England the touchdown yet. No, Brady's got to just say, is it possible? This is two down territory. So if you're Kansas City, you can't sell out against the run here. You do want to stop them, yes. But you can't just forget about a fullback in the flat or something. The most likely they're going to run this ball. But don't just give them the touchdown. Third and one. Burkhead. Oh, this is going to be close. Uh, that spot looks like it's going to be short. Burkhead was the one who had the carry on that fourth and short earlier in this quarter. Looks like they got the right spot. And once again, they're coming out to measure which can help the Chiefs again get prepared for this fourth and short, like last time when they stuffed him. Jones just hobbled off the field after that last play. There he is, heading to the bench. One of their star defenders. And a fourth and inch is on the way. You thought that last fourth down play earlier in this quarter was big. But now you got 350 to go. Well, now it's time to sell out against the run. <laughs> yeah. They've thrown a pick on a play action from the one or two. They tried to hand it off in the middle. They stuffed them. 
Kansas City's owned this so far in this game. They've got to go back to the Brady sneak or something, don't they? Oh, they're killing it. Usually means a motion and a run out wide to the right. Here's the handoff and to the end zone The Sony Michelle and the Patriots are back in front. Brady, I thought they would do this on the other one. He gets up, it's quarterback sneak. Nope. I'm going to motion and I'm going to call the outside run because you can't take away both. It's really, really difficult. What a play call. Outside zone. All those guys are inside saying it's a quarterback sneak. It's a quarterback sneak. All right. Let's wash them all down and go out wide. Second touchdown of the game for the rookie who now has five in this postseason. Diskowski to make it a three-point game, and he does. We got 3.32 to go. <laughs> Michelle with 29 totes in this game. 113 yards and a couple of touchdowns. Uh, watch Gronk and Devlin. The foot. Gronk kicks out. And Devlin. Look at that block. Right there. Huh? Gronkowski, Devlin. And overpowering the defenders. Michelle, who early in his career at Georgia was a backup running back to Todd Gurley. They could find themselves on the same field in a couple of weeks' time. But here's that scenario I suggested was a possibility. Patrick Mahomes. First year as a starter, second year in the league. Then all these things that, well, no one's ever done before, like age mark records. Youngest ever throw six touchdowns in a game. Did that week two at Pittsburgh. He was, he was 22 at the time, just a few days short of his 23rd birthday. Youngest to throw for 50 in a season. On and on. And now he's got a chance. Three and a half to go. To add another chapter to this uh, young legend. Nice run back here by Traymond Smith. Well, here are some of the key plays. And they've been uh, certainly closely scrutinized a few times. Roughing penalty on that drive. And then that was a challenge. Cost the Chiefs a timeout. They lost the challenge. There have been three reviews in the fourth quarter, and all of them went New England's way. There's a line, line. Rolling out Mahomes. Got time to throw it. Wing it down the field, incomplete. Uh, I like them rolling the pocket to the right and moving it, but. Oh, we're going to have to get this ball down the field. Got the State Farm post-game show. Immediately after this, JB, Phil, Nate, Boomer, Coach Cower, they'll have uh, their take on this game, plus the presentation of the Lamar Hunt Trophy. It's all coming up. State Farm post-game show. Come on, Eddie. Nice hunt. There you go. Man-to-man, -to -man, single high. Let's see if he doubles on Tyreek Hill, who's in the slot up top. Witzig, Mahomes, able to get it out. Ball came out. Kelsey dropped it. Swore the fumble on the field. And there's a flag out as well. Hightower scoops it up. Oh, this is going to kill New England because I think Jackson, they're going to call him for a penalty, even though I'm not sure it was. But Watkins fell down, and Jackson may have held him, but we'll see. Prior to the pass. Holding defense number 27. It is on Jackson. Five yard penalty, automatic first down. Whoa. Let's see this closely. Jackson's on and right there. He does grab around the left shoulder. Gene? Good call. It's a solid call. It's, yep. it's defensive holding. It's a good call. Yep. When that left arm goes on the inside, grabs around it, I, I think that was the right call. And that goes against New England now. They had something go against them, Jim. Well, Jackson had that uh, pass interference call in the end zone earlier in this quarter. 
That's huge for a young quarterback, though. That first first down, when you have a, the game on the line, the AFC Championship on the line, and all of a sudden, it's like, okay, it calms you now. He's a little bit more in the rhythm, and it's like, okay, we can just run our offense. But him walking out there, he was nervous. He was ready. But he could feel how important this situation is. The game clock is correct. Oh, thanks. <laughs> the game clock is correct, is what I think he said. Just in case you were wondering. So, Hill is in the backfield. It's been a quiet night for him, just targeted twice. They shift him out into a slot, first and 10, 37. Fires it, no one there. Well, Kelsey ran an out and up, and Mahomes threw the out. So it's a little miscommunication, but on the left side of your screen, Mahomes like, oh, what are you doing? Kelsey's like, yeah, I thought we were on the out and up when you call that. And what? Second and ten. Five rushers. Mahomes down the field in the air. Watkinson flag comes out here. And it might be another one on roughing the passer. Well, they got the pressure inside. This is. Van Noy hit him low after he threw it. I couldn't tell based on the play. I was watching down the field, but it looked like someone got low on him. Yeah, it was Van Noy. There are two fouls two against fouls. the defense on the play. First of all, foul, roughing the passer, defense number 53. That carries a crime. Pass interference, number 27. Ball he plays for his final foul. First down, Kansas City. Boy, these have three big penalties on J.C. Jackson in this quarter. Two pass interference calls and a hold. Here's the roughing call. Boy, that, that with that foot planted, that could have been very dangerous and harmful. And here's the pass interference call. Jackson, who has come on strong here at the end of the season, rookie out of Maryland, who was a healthy scratch in the first matchup this year. They've been high on what he's done. Oh, well, he, he's improved, and it's a staple of, you know, being in New England. You get a young guy undrafted, all of a sudden he's playing great football at the end of the year. That's great coaching. And, but here we are now, first and ten. You're, you're getting closer to field goal range. I'd still keep attacking right here. Mahomes. Four for it all. It's Hill down there. And almost intercepted. They came right back to it. They ran Tyreek Hill into the middle that you saw earlier in the game on the big play. They knew he was double teamed and then gone. Mahomes tried to wait it out, and at the last second, he throws that ball and takes the hit by Butler. And Hightower, and look at Jones jumping in front. And he was open. He just couldn't quite get it off and get the power on it. Jones, out there. Jones was hurt on the fall, so he's come out for this play. Second and ten. Wide open. Watkins. Twenty. Ten. Switch back down to the two. Well, this is a pick play. And I'm telling you right here, there's no call on it. But watch these four guys. You see right there, Conley runs right in to the defender guarding Watkins, and Watkins is standing there by himself. And it's one of those plays where you're like, do they make the call, do they not? No penalty, huge play. Watkins shaking up, ball at the two, first and goal. Approaching two minutes, gotta have a play on the north side of it. Handoff up the middle, and it's Williams with another touchdown. Mahomes in his first AFC title game, the first title game in Arrowhead, with the season on the line in the AFC Championship, takes to the biggest drive of his career, and he goes down and scores with a simple handoff to Williams up the middle, and it's clear as day.
What a drive. And guess what? That's three touchdowns in the quarter by Williams. Big point after here to make it four. Butker's kick, dead center. But there are two minutes, three seconds to go yes. for Mr. Brady to come do his thing again. But nobody could come back from this. No one could uh, score yeah. with two minutes to go. There's never been a player who could. You don't know anyone in the building I've who's never capable seen. of that, huh? Oh, my gosh. This is exactly how it's supposed to come down. Uh, unbelievable. Well, a year ago, we were there for Jacksonville at New England, and the Jags had a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter, and the Patriots came back to win. Well, this was this was a 10-point New England lead going into the fourth tonight. It's 17-7. There have been four touchdowns in the final quarter, three of them by the Chiefs. In fact, all of them by, again, Damian Williams. We've had three lead changes in the quarter. The touchdown, needing the touchdown. And Belichick is so upset about the pick play. He still, he just tried to show. He's like the receivers five, six yards downfield. You're supposed to do it at the line of scrimmage. They got away with one, but there's been a lot of stuff today. You could say that about. And either way, if the Patriots are going to Atlanta, Number 12 is going to have to do something really special in a really, really difficult environment. Here's Patterson. What a cut he made right there. And it gives them an excellent start. Butker had the angle on him. But there was one slash cut by Patterson that gave him an extra 15 yards. Two-minute warning at the AFC title game. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by... Bud Light, reminding you not to drink and ride your horse. And by Pizza Hut, official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Aerial coverage of tonight's game provided by State Farm. Well, will the Patriots go back for the third straight year or will the Chiefs go back for the first time in 49 years? Minute and 57 to decide it. Brady fires complete. Edelman, what a catch. And takes the hit from two chief defenders at the Kansas City 45. Tom Brady's, gonna, Tom Brady's gonna have to stand in this pocket and fire, and he does with a rope over the middle to his trusty Edelman. But this pass rush, you gotta get in the end zone in this environment, there's a long way to go. Great protection, and right back he goes for another completion this one to Hogan and a first down no timeout you don't want to use it till one minute you have a ton of time if you're New England Kansas City though they're gonna pass this ball you need to rush the passer and affect him quickly Brady gets rid of it and it was D Ford who was coming up quickly from behind Brady I think he felt his presence so he got rid of it that's exactly right. It's, it's a play that nobody even will remember, but if they win, watch from the outside edge. You're going to see Ford, and Brady feels it, and he lets it go because he's not willing to turn the ball over or take a sack and waste a timeout. But it keeps them ahead of the chains. Oh, my gosh, Tim. Here, we, here it is. Tom Brady's at the ball at the 35 to go to the Super Bowl. Did you say, here we go? Second and ten. And the pocket. And another sideline completion. And it's Hogan. Identical play. From this two should plays be the ago. timeout. This should be the timeout. The first one if you have three. And it's a timeout, New England. So he's had 20 yard pass play to Edelman. 11 and 14 now to Hogan. And next thing you know, they're down at the Kansas City 21. Now uh, we got to make sure. catch it. Hold on a minute. Now we're inside, of course, two minutes. And it's going to be reviewed up top. Gene Sterator, this is under review. It sure is, Jim. And this one was ruled complete, but I 
in my opinion, I don't want to jump too quick, but I don't believe that Edelman has control of that football first. So we're dealing with not control as that ball was moving. Okay, so then at any time, if that ball contacts the ground, it's not as if we have movement after possession here. It did look a little different than the last one. Like it was just a little more, oh, this one's on the ground. Like, whereas Hogan had his hand under it. Or Edelman. I, I misspoke, Tone. It was Hogan. It You're was right. Hogan. Yeah, yes, Hogan. Yes, it you was. see the spacing there where the football is free of any body part for a moment there. So there was no, no, no initial possession. Yeah, let's go of it there for a moment, and then does it just momentarily and, bounce off the ground? And then when you have that touch of that football on the grass there, I'm going to overturn this one to incomplete, Jim, based on just what you said. Yes. If, it, if it is incomplete, it would be third and ten back at the 34. I think it's going to be incomplete. I mean, I would... They're already walking back. Tony, you're basing that on the guys they walking are, they're back walking to back. the previous spot. <laughs> they're walking back. That's going to be... They kind of just disregarded the drama aspect of it and quickened it up there. Look. I think another question we would have here, guys, is the timeout that was called based on the fact that the ruling on the field was complete. Now that they overturned this to incomplete, they can give that timeout back to New England okay. now. So New England could end up with two timeouts here instead of one. And, the, and they have to put the clock back at probably around a minute, minute and two. Because it took him probably five seconds to call the timeout. Lakeman just now stepping exactly. away. After reviewing the play, the ball hit the ground and it just didn't keep in the pass. And we got third down at that spot. He put one minute, one second on the game clock. And New England does get their timeout back due to the situation. So they add seven seconds, or they will. And the ball is placed back at the 34. So you got third and 10. Your season's on the line. You don't have a great outside receiver. They have a great pass rush. You've got to get the ball off quick. Tom Brady's going to stand in and take a hit right, you know, high and low if he has to, to complete this ball. To me, I want to see Gronkowski and accept the fact he's your best player. They're going to chip him on this one. This ball's got to go outside to one of the receivers at a double move. Hands in the pocket. Flags out. Ball's picked. Ball is intercepted. It comes out of the hands of Ward for a moment. But he had it long enough, I believe. But he got a flag down. So the ruling is an interception on the field. We'll wait for the flag. Well, this could be on the Patriots. It could be a wrong formation or it's offsides. This is huge. This could be the game right here. Offside, defense number 55, lined up in the neutral zone. The five-yard penalty will replay third down. D Ford was lined up in the neutral zone. It'll make it a third and five. Oh, can you believe it? He's right there. And he is. He's over the blue by quite a bit, actually. That's the correct call. But D Ford, that's a huge mistake. Third and five. Would have been ball game. I got to put Gronkowski out wide. They've got to get him. He's your guy when it's one on one. They've got. They finally got him. There he is. On the top of the screen. If he's doubled, you're going to throw inside right here to Edelman. You just look up there and pick him. Here they come after Brady. He goes down the field to Gronk. Turns around, makes the catch. He saw what you saw, Tony. I, they don't have answers. They're going to have to play one on one. You got to go with your best player. I understand, you know, everyone wants to say, this is the guy. Throw that ball up and give him a chance. Timeout, Chiefs. Wow, what a catch. Timeout, a 30-second timeout. What a throw. What a call, Romo Stradamos. <laughs> I tell you, that was, you have to get him out there, otherwise you have no matchup at all. And I understand Barry's great, but so is this guy. And he's covered, but he's not covered. Throw that ball up. Big players right there, right? And Eric Berry was the defender. It was great coverage. It was just the ball was right up. Gronk, most selfless 
player this year. I'm telling you, he's blocked as if he was just a fullback all year long in a lot of different ways, and he's never complained. You don't hear anything selfless, and he makes the biggest catch of their season right there. Oh. And again, the State Farm post game show is coming up with JB and all the crew, plus the presentation of the Lamar Hunt Trophy. Will it be on the field for the Chiefs or in the Patriots locker room for New England? We're going to find out here with four yards away from New England taking back the lead. They're going to run this ball. Kansas City's got to sell out. There's a handoff to Burkhead. Burkhead pulls ahead and scores the touchdown. What a drive. Tom Brady takes New England down. Gronkowski with a monster catch down the sideline and then a run. A simple counter play. They haven't run that today. And a great job by Mason with the kick out block. 65 yards in 84 seconds. In just six plays, they negotiate the 65 yards. There are 39 seconds to go, though. And now to make it a three-point lead, and Kaskowski knocks it through. Josh McDaniels hugging. I mean, everybody thought New England going into the playoffs wasn't quite good enough. They weren't talented enough, not the same team. Well, I think Tom Brady heard that. Remember his I reaction he last week? I think yeah, he heard think that. that. And you know what? There's so much to this game, more than talent. It's, you know, these guys, they're, they're so intelligent. They learn a new scheme each week. And I tell you, I really believe Brady and this team were semi-offended. They're like, we've been in this championship game eight years in a row, yeah, we're and an we're an underdog. Yeah. And Brady hasn't been an underdog by himself in a game since 2014. He was ready for this one. So, it's still 39 seconds, Tony, and it's a three-point game. Four lead changes in the quarter. They've got Traymond Smith standing at the goal line. I wonder if there's any thought given to putting Tyreek Hill back there. There is, but most likely that means Tyreek Hill is going to come in the game and they're going to run one of those really long routes where he runs to the middle and runs to the corner. Something that's going to move the pocket and they're going to take a home run shot with him. So you don't want him running 30 yards and then coming right back and running another 50 three seconds later. So yeah, one timeout. And there's a pretty good chance they're not kicking this ball that deep anyway. This ball's probably going to go down to the 15 or 20 with a little pooch kick. Well, they, they did that on the ground earlier, and Harris picked it up and made a nice return out of it. Now he's going to go ahead and knock it deep, as deep as he can, to the five to Smith. Got a wedge in front. He's got a nice return out of it across the 30 to the 31. Ball's on the ground. He picked up, and there's Harris I just mentioned who uh, was able to pick up the loose football. And I believe his whistle dead anyway. 32 seconds, you have one timeout, you're fine. You need a chunk play. This, You cannot take a sack that takes your timeout. You can throw the ball out of bounds. You only check it down if you can at least get 10 yards. If you get anything less than 10 yards, you don't throw this football, you throw it away. Patriots rushing three. Still getting pressure on him. Has to step away from it. Now flings it on the run. Diving catch made. Spencer Ware. Clock running. Now you get up, you clock it right away or a timeout. And they took the timeout. Took the timeout at 23 seconds. Well, it's a great job. Three-man rush. Make sure he catches this. Looks like a catch, no problem. Oh, Mahomes has them in position, Jim. One more throw. Now, without a timeout, you can still throw this ball in the middle of the field. Better have your field goal unit ready, right? Well, you can go up and clock it. So as fast as they can run out, they can, they're not going to run out here. You're going to get up and clock the ball if you throw it in the middle.
but you're still looking to get out of bounds. You want to run the court. Now, New England only has Perfect. one safety Perfect. deep, which tells you they're playing defense. They're not protecting a touchdown or anything yet. He's about 10 yards to give him a chance. Flag out. Pass down the field. Caught at the 21 by Robinson. And the flag's going to help him. The clock's going to stop on the flag. That was a 27 yard pass play. There's a clean in the blue. Looked like offs. It looked like offside on New England. Yeah, and this is huge for multiple offside. reasons. Defense in the neutral zone at the snap. Sonny's decline as all the plays are first down. A deep over by Robinson and a perfect throw by Mahomes leading him right out in front. And this is huge because now the ball, the clock doesn't start until the ball is snapped. It doesn't start now because that flag. Butker imagining what he has to do, trying to give this championship Sunday a second overtime game if he's called on. Well, you're trying to score a touchdown on this play. So what happens now is they're going to throw a ball to the end zone. And I don't know what's going on. Is Mahomes a second to come over and talk to his coordinator, Eric Bieniemy, who's done such a fine job this year? Officials have uh, taken a, a moment here to talk things over. So th this is, to me, 16 seconds. You can't get risky in the middle of the field. This is the an out cut to the sideline or a go route into the end zone. You're in field goal range. You've done an incredible job. You set it up, but now you're taking your shot. You're either getting a closer field goal, throw an out cut for 10, or if they play one high safety, which means you can throw it outside the numbers, no one's helping over the top, you take your shot to the end zone with a receiver out wide. The Chiefs, in just a couple of plays, getting into field goal range with Ware's first reception the of the clock night. is correct at 16 seconds. 16. Robinson with his first catch of the night. And you're looking for a shot to the end zone here. If they play soft coverage, New England now should be protecting the end zone. They shouldn't let you throw it to the end zone. They're already in field range. These safeties should stay way back. They should all be back far. Let them do anything they want underneath. They're playing sideline coverage. 35, 35. Don't throw this ball in bounds or it's going to be really close. Again, Chiefs, no timeouts. Mahomes, he's going to the end zone. Into the end zone and over everyone's head. There was nothing there. Well, now it's probably field goal time. Butker is coming out. You, you test New England, make sure they're prepared for the situation they were, and then you send them out. Well, you can see the graphic. What he's done here at home, this is going to be 39 yards. 39 yards, 11 seconds to go. Winchester to snap it, Colquitt to hold it. And a timeout called by the Patriots. New England takes its first timeout. So, Jay Feely, it was three hours ago, but you were saying in warm-ups there were issues at this end of the field. What is it like now, right now? It's pretty calm. It's good conditions. It's a kick that he should make. We actually had a conversation, Harrison Bucker and I did, on Friday about this exact kick and what it would mean for him he said, the big, biggest thing I need to do is stay calm, stay in rhythm. Different kickers like to do different things. He focuses on his fundamentals, making that kick. He did miss a 43-yard game winner against Baltimore here in Kansas City. Okay. Well, the miss here sends New England, right, Jim? That's it. Now to tie it. Butker's kick. It is good all the way. And we're tied at 31. You ready to go a little longer? Why not? 31 all. What a fourth quarter. And with that kick to tie it, we've had 38 points scored 
in this fourth quarter. It's the most points ever in a quarter of a championship game. After, uh, well, I mean, a dominating first half performance by New England, but it was, it was not riveting. It was so one-sided. The Hunt family celebrating. And the fact the kick is knocked through from 39. But it got wild here in the second half. Fourth quarter's crazy. Up and down, up and down, and just both quarterbacks playing great. How about that? How much time was left? 29 seconds, 32 seconds? 39. 39 seconds, took him down, got the field goal look. Brady took him down. This is what great quarterbacks are supposed to do right there. And they're both proving it. Get this on the ground quickly. And that's Devlin who casually picks it up and says, I'm not doing anything with this. Well, in the Super Bowl era, there's only been one AFC Championship game that went to overtime, and that was back in 86, Denver and Cleveland. But we're about to have a second one, and the second of the day. Unless they fake sneak, <laughs> fake yeah. down this, and fumble Ruski out of here, you never. Okay, okay, just... close. Here we go. They were thinking about it. All right. Big coin toss, both great quarterbacks could end the game with a touchdown. You want to win this toss. Always, but this is, no one can stop anybody right now. What a day of football, though. I mean, what happened today down in New Orleans, for it to end on a 57-yard field goal, Greg Zerlon, it's amazing what he did. <laughs> and... Maybe it's more than some people can even take. <laughs> Postseason overtime rules. Gene Steratore. They're set up for you here, the 15-minute period. We're actually starting a game over now, so this can go on more than the 10-minute uh, interim. Overtime in the postseason in the NFL. We will continue playing until we have a winner. Both teams are going to have a possession unless the first team on offense scores a touchdown or we have a defensive score. The timing will be as after we start a brand new ball game. Each team are going to have three timeouts per half. Good? Good? Okay. Good point. So the head, helmet side is heads, the T side is tails, helmet is heads, T side is tails. New England again, you're the visiting team. It's your choice. Heads. Heads. Heads is a call. It is heads. You want the wall. Oh. <laughs> Matthew Slater makes that very clear. We want the ball. You're going to get the ball. When we start overtime at Arrowhead, when we come back to the AFC Championship game on CBS. We're back for the overtime. Overtime for the Super Bowl. My goodness. You go all these months, all the practices, all the games, and now I heard Gene Steratore say it's like it's a whole new game. I mean, it's a bonus game inside what's been a remarkable second half of football. After a great first half performance by the Patriots, it looked like they might be capable of running away with it tonight, only to see the Chiefs come out and quickly change the tide. Well, that game is over. This is a whole new game right now. The adjustments have taken place. You've seen what the opponent has done successfully throughout the game. Now, right here, I'd do the same thing. I'd be aggressive right from the way go. I know they want to run the ball, and they're going on this drive. But I'd come out and play action and take a shot down the sideline and try and get this over with right now. Well, you remember what they did in overtime of Super Bowl 51. Boom. James White ending it right down the field to go. They're putting the big guys in. They're trying to stop the run on the first play. Going to be a pass play. Pass caught. Shoved out by Fuller. It's Hogan with the grab. Brady got hit again, pushed in the pocket. But this is, I mean, this is Tom Brady. This is the guy. It's like your season's on the line, right? Let's, let's make sure he's getting two throws every three downs. If you got to get first downs, 
We're going to give him two of the three. I always, it's like, I understand I want to throw, run the ball. But your best player, Tom Brady, needs that at least two out of three on each down and distance or each four downs that they have to cover. Again, signaling he's changing out of the original call and giving it to Burkhead, who's met at the line for no gain. Maybe a guard. Second and nine. They know you're passing. You throw a screen right here and risk. Do you run a draw and risk possibly third and nine, Jim? You saw Mahomes sitting on the bench just thinking, just give me a chance. And I think if they get that ball back, there's a good chance that Kansas City is going to go score. Coming after him. Got away from the pressure. And incomplete. That was Justin Houston, who was around Brady. And Brady feels that he's got to step up on Houston and does a good job, but there's no separation anywhere. Nobody's getting open. Brady's literally trying to go through four guys, and over and over again, it's really hard to find someone creating a lot of separation. Well, That's why go. I keep saying, Gronk's got to get out wide. And you got to throw it to him out there. Third and nine, Tony. Well, they got to block the front. If Gronk's not outside, you got to chip with him, chip with him, and throw to Edelman over the middle of the field. Pass down the middle. Caught. Edelman holds on. He got whacked a couple of times and was completely unflappable with it. Just takes the hits and holds on for the big gain of 20. Well, and there was, with the motion, they got a stack release, and Edelman gets free, so he gets five yards of separation. Brady fires it in there and moves the chains with another big one. Take to Burkhead. Down the sideline they go. And that was Nelson trying to jump in front of Dorsett. Incomplete. Dorsett with the one catch right before halftime that went for the touchdown in front of Nelson. Well, this all day they're getting their hands on him a little bit. Let's see if Nelson, when he cuts out of the break, eh, there's nothing there. But you see, that's where, that right there is where Brady's missing. That was a perfect throw. Off his back foot, off a play fake. And really, they don't have that guy who can make that catch outside the numbers right now and that's it's amazing they're where they're at right now without having that second and ten pass dropped patterson couldn't catch it and again nelson was defending now third and ten patterson runs a simple slant just takes it at one step though needs to go up the field just a little bit one more step brady's got to throw it a hair earlier than you're used to on a slant and Brady's upset because he knows he's like, but here we go. Gronk's got a chip. The running back's got to help, so he has time to throw. Once again, Edelman in the middle of the field. Pocket sealed. Down the middle. Edelman again with a third down catch. Twice on this drive. This time for 15. The motion gets Edelman going in the middle, and Brady waits for him. The problem is the Chiefs, on every big down, are running this two-man. And it's being a perfect call by the Patriots, and they're giving Brady just enough time with the chip block by Gronk. And now anything's available. Screen, run, he can do anything right here. And a touchdown would win the game. First down from the 30. Uh-oh, toss back. Brady looking down the field, looking to the end zone, and it's not there. Hogan. How about the guts of Josh McDaniels yes. and Belichick? Season on the line, we're going to run a flea flicker. Let's go ahead and do it. It's right here. You're going to see this up here, and he's going to read the middle of the field. They're trying to pretend like they're blocking, and then they go. And Brady does a great job not throwing it to Edelman on the play and throwing to Hogan instead. 
would have been intercepted if he lets that ball go to Edelman. Yeah, he threw it way on the outside, too, in Hogan's direction to make sure it was not possible to go the other way. Second and ten, already in field goal range, but looking for more, looking for a game ender. Brady's pass, incomplete. Knocked out of the hands of Cordero Patterson. I mean, Brady threw this ball perfectly. Patterson comes out of his break, and that ball's on his face mask, but he can't create separation as Nelson's really close there, hanging on him. The leading sack team in the league, tied for the most with Pittsburgh in the regular season, has not gotten to Brady tonight. Third and ten, ball at the Chiefs' 30. Gronk is out wide. Watch the top of your screen. Watch this safety. If he comes down, there's a good chance he's throwing out there. It's Gronk for the first down. Gronk cut inside on the slant and gets it down to the 15. Got halfway home. Now they're starting. You see a, all of a sudden Barry jumped outside and played the fade. He wasn't going to let him run down the sideline again. And Gronk runs the slant. He's killing the play. He's going to the second. Three long third down conversions. So bring it first down from the 15. Burkhead. Just five yards away. Devlin throwing a big block on the inside. Big time third downs on this drive. Gets him into position. Then they run the ball right at you. And now you got to make a call if you're on defense. You, they have to run the ball, you're figuring. But you're tired. You've been on this field a long time today. Can you muster up enough? They put everyone in there. Here's the handoff to Burkhead. And he fights down inside the two. You can see the defenders for Kansas City. They're exhausted over there. Would you think a timeout maybe on Kansas City side just to... That's exactly right, Jim. That's a great call. This would be a perfect time to do it. Give them a break. New England tried to play action earlier. I can't see it here. This has to be a run. Second and goal to Burkett. Burkett to the end zone! Hello, Super Bowl! New England is heading back again for the third straight year. Mahomes never saw the football in overtime. Never saw it, and that was why the coin flip was so key. You got these two quarterbacks, these two offenses, and Tom Brady with three monster third down. Two of them to Edelman, one to Gronkowski. All of them were third and eight plus. And this is as satisfying, I tell you, when everyone tells you that you're not as good and they wanted to tell them they're not quite that safe team and they're going back again. Burkhead able to drive across against a fatigued defense. You're in overtime. It's a long drive. It's a touchdown and that's Kansas City with an incredible season. They should be proud. It played incredible and they had some chances today too. Heartbreak today for both home teams. The home teams had won the last 10 championship games between the AFC and the NFC before today. And now the Saints and the Chiefs, both the one seeds, both at home, both losing overtime. And now the Patriots and the Rams will be meeting in Atlanta for Super Bowl 53. It'll be 17 years to the day from Super Bowl 36 when the Patriots and the St. Louis Rams met down in New Orleans. The first Super Bowl win for the Belichick Brady dynasty. It's unbelievable. And they had to come in here and honestly give Belichick the plan in the first half. It really did shut down this Kansas City offense. Then they figured him out. They came out storming and then it was on Brady late in this game. Edelman with some big time catches. And those two guys, they respect each other. Those are two great coaches. Andy Reid has to wait another year.
Gronkowski had a big game, his biggest maybe of the whole year. I think this was the best he's played. You know, in the passing game, everyone says, I mean, he came up with the biggest plays at the biggest times, and he's blocked incredibly at a high level in the last month of this season and for really most of his career. You ready for all the storylines to start? I'm ready. Yeah, it's going to be the next two weeks you're going to hear all about it. New England and Los Angeles. The likes of Sean McVay and Bill Belichick, the youngest head coach against the longest tenure. That's just one of many. Evan, down to you. Get your ass off. Here with Tom. Go. That was like a heavyweight fight. What was required from you and this team to get this win and get back to the Super Bowl? Everything, man. It's everything. I mean, overtime on the road against a great team. They had no fight. They had no quit. Here do we. Played our best football, Dan. Just, I got, I don't know, man. I'm tired. That was a hell of a game. A long one. Every season has challenges, but this one seemed to have more. The underdog mentality going into this one. What's it mean after all of that to head back to the Super Bowl? I first want to say hi to my wife. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm coming home. Mom, dad at home, my sisters, all my family. Thanks for your love and support. And all our fans back home, way to go, man. What a year. What was your question? Just what it Get means to, to go back to Super Bowl after everything. Unbelievable, bro. <laughs> uh, I never, I mean, this is crazy. What a game. Tom, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Jim, back to you. Uh, it's going to be something else down in Atlanta. Brady and golf. Belichick and McVeigh, Patriots and Rams. Mm, what a memorable night here at Arrowhead. I enjoyed it, Jim. That was unbelievable. Werner, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Let's do it again. Down in Atlanta. Let's do it. Coming up next, the State Farm Post Game Show, the presentation of the Lamar Hunt Trophy, which will be coming from the Patriots locker room. We're heading there right now. You've been watching the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax Live. Stay with us. Patriots take the AFC.